Welcome to another catfishing cluster of No Rolls Bard Plays Blood on the Clock Tower. My name is Tom, and I'm joined by Adam. Straight in there with the swear. Thanks, monetization. Cheers, Tom. <laughs> you can bleep it out. Carly. I'll bleep you out. Hi. <laughs> Angela. Hello. Sullivan. Hello. Isaac. Hello. Laurie. In hello. Brooke. She b hello. Oh, for <laughs> sake. All of you. John. F off. <laughs> <laughs> and our very special guest, official storyteller from the Pandemonium Institute and the Grand Central Station of Misinformation. Ben. Oh. Can everyone please stop f***ing swearing? <laughs> Say. Oh, Tom Sorry, Tom. Daddy Ben. <laughs> right. Lights out, everyone. And sweet dreams. F***. So, Ben, now we're alone, do you want to just say a little something about the catfishing script? Sure, yeah. So this is Catfishing by uh, Emily D., and it's widely regarded. It's kind. Of, it's the most official, unofficial script, I guess, because it's it's played a hell of a lot. It's been in development for a long time, and it's widely regarded as a as a really good uh, custom script, a really balanced custom script, and a great way to sort of transition from just playing the base three into uh, some of the more experimental stuff. Um, so yeah, that's why we're running it. Uh, it's got a, it's got mostly characters from the base three in it, but it's got a little sprinkling of spicier characters. Okay, let's start doing the trip round the clock then. Isaac is the amnesiac in this game. Isaac, the amnesiac. The amnesiac is an experimental role. Um, its ability reads: You do not know what your ability is. Each day, privately guess what it is. You learn how accurate you are. So there are there are two parts to the amnesiac. Uh, there is um, using the ability and figuring out what your ability is. So before the game begins, Tom and myself are going to come up with an, a custom ability for Isaac. The ability shouldn't does shouldn't really be an ability that already exists. We're not just going to say, "Hey, we'll just give him the empath's ability." We're going to come up with something completely new and unique. It's usually a kind of slightly powerful ability, perhaps more powerful than a usual townsfolk ability. Uh, because he doesn't know what it is. And while he'll be doing, you know, whatever it is his ability does, each day Isaac will privately come to, to Tom or myself and say, is my ability this, or is my ability that, or does my ability have something to do with this? He'll ask a yes-no question. And we will tell him how hot or cold he is. And if he, w when he nails it, we'll just say bingo. So those are the three things that you say. Cold, warm, or bingo. You can sort of embellish it a bit if you want. You can be like, you're really cold, or you're absolutely scalding hot if you want to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's generally how it works. Once he works out his ability, if he works out his ability, he will be the owner of an extremely powerful, probably the most powerful townsfolk ability in the circle. Adam is the dreamer. The dreamer! Each night, choose a player, not yourself or travellers. You learn one good and one evil character, one of which is correct. I believe we've seen the dreamer before on No Rolls Bard. Uh, it's very simple. Each night, Adam will select a player. We'll give Adam two rolls. One of them will be the actual role that they are, assuming is not drunk or poisoned. The other one will be a role of an opposing alignment, which they are not. Alright. Carly is the sweetheart. Sweetheart, when you die, one player is drunk from now on. So not really much more to say about that, right? When Carly dies, we'll assign drunkenness to one player and they'll be permanently drunk. Unless Carly becomes drunk or poisoned. And that player will become drunk the moment of Carly's death, regardless of how that death happens and when it happens. Uh, well, actually, the, the so this is a, a sort of grey area, uh, but I generally like to go with the night order. So that player... Uh, for me, won't become drunk until the sweetheart wakes up at night. But if you are running your game of Clock Tower and you decide that that person becomes drunk immediately, that's totally something that you can do. Alright. Our demon for this game and the imp is Laurie. 
I will be very surprised if anyone doesn't know the imp, uh, but I'll go over it anyway. Each night, choose a player, they die. Simple. If you choose yourself this way, a minion becomes the imp. So, yep, Laurie will kill someone each night except the first night. If Laurie feels like the heat's getting too much, he can attack himself, and the minion, which in this case is uh, Brooke, will become the new imp. Angela is our balloonist. Yes, the balloonist, whose ability reads, Each night you learn one player of each character type until there are no more types to learn. Plus one outsider. So, um, the plus one outsider bit is obvious. We've added an extra outsider in, as you can no doubt see. Uh, the, the balloonist's ability works thusly. Each night we wake up the balloonist and we show them a player. Not a character, but a player. And over the course of four nights, we will have shown them... One player who is a townsfolk, one player who is an outsider, one who's a minion, and one who is a demon. Uh, not necessarily in that order. They can be in any order that we like. Uh, we they the player does not learn whether or not they've learned a minion or a demon. They just learn the, the player's name. That's all. Uh, but if a balloonist can get four nights of info, that's actually really good information because you know that one of those two people is the demon and one of those two people is the minion. And in an eight-player game where there's only one minion, that's that's the entire evil team in half of your pings, which is pretty big. I think you'll agree. Yeah. So all being well. Surviving four nights and having good information, they'll end up with four names and have to work out who's who. Who's the demon? Who's the outsider? Who's the townsfolk? Who's the minion? Exactly. Okay, John is the cannibal. John the cannibal, this is another experimental character. You have the ability of the recently killed executee. If they are evil, you are poisoned until a good player dies by execution. So, if a good player is executed, John, for the following night, and for every other night until someone new is executed, will have their ability. However, if an evil player is executed, then we will probably just pretend to John that he has the ability that the evil player was bluffing as, because he will be poisoned. And if you're poisoned or drunk or whatever, you can be receiving any information. So if, for example, uh, Brooke is claiming to be the fortune teller, and Brooke is executed, we'll probably wake John up and ask him to select two people, and we'll probably lie to him. Uh, it's worth noting that the cannibal doesn't become that character, they still register as the cannibal, and they still, still are the cannibal, they merely acquire their ability. Sully is the lunatic. Sully, the lunatic, uh, you think you are a demon, but you are not. The demon knows who you are and who you choose at night. So on uh, on w when we uh, actually play, we'll be giving Sully the imp's token. He'll believe he's the imp, presumably. Uh, Laurie will be aware that Sully is the lunatic, and we'll also be informing Laurie who Sully attacks in the night. So if Lo Laurie wishes, he can continue to make Sully think he is the imp. And finally, Brooke is this game's minion and is the Widow. Brooke, the Widow. On your first night, look at the Grimoire and choose a player. They are poisoned. One good player knows a Widow is in play. So on night one, we'll visit Brooke. We'll show Brooke the entirety of the Grimoire, uh, which is this screen that you're looking at right now. Uh, Brooke will then select somebody to poison, and that player will be poisoned until Brooke dies. However, we will select one good player and inform them that a Widow is in play. It's worth noting that Brooke can, if she chooses to, poison herself as soon as she sees the Grimoire, which means she'll have seen the Grimoire, uh, but because she's poisoned, we then cannot go and inform someone that there is a Widow in play. Although I would say that's, that's, that basically just makes you a kind of weak spy, and it's not worth it in my opinion, but, I, but Widows do do it sometimes. The Demon Bluffs, Ben. Talk us the through The Demon Bluffs. Alright, Grandmother, you start knowing a good player and their character. If the demon kills them, you die too. It's always a good one to give us a bluff because not only uh, does it give the imp a reason to visit their minion, they can claim that they're the grandmother, uh, but also it gives a degree of confirmability because you can say, you know, I'm the grandmother of this person, I know what they are, they didn't tell me what they were, can you confirm that this person? And, you know, have that conversation publicly. Uh, so in this instance, I imagine that uh, the other person will get the bluff of Fortune Teller, uh, which is each night, choose two players, you learn if either is a demon, there is a good player that registers as a demon to you. Um, we've been over that a few times, I think. Fortune Teller picks two people at night and we give them a yes or a no. Yes if they've selected a demon, no if they haven't. Um, 
finally we've got the recluse. It's always a good uh, bluff to fall back on because the recluse can register as evil or as a minion or as a demon even if dead. And because we have a drunk in this game, we can kind of give them an outsider as a bluff and the numbers will, will match up if that makes sense as yeah. long as the good team doesn't figure out they've got a drunk. Taking a final count, as far as the village is concerned for the most part, there are five townsfolk, one outsider, one minion, and one demon. But because of the balloonist, in fact, we have four townsfolk, two outsiders, one minion, one demon. Spot on. That's correct. Nailed it. Ten, po ten points. At I don't play basketball. Ten points to Tom and Dor. <laughs> ten <laughs> points to Tom and Dor. <laughs> yes, man. Yes, mate. Okay, let's wake everybody up. Okay, let's go. Hello, Brooke. <sighs> How are y'all? We're okay. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling a little venomous. Feeling a little bit revengeful. I feel like um, I'm going to eat my dead husband. Is that what widows do? No. Um, some of them. Some of them. Yeah. I feel it's very much a, a dealer's choice situation with widows. Yeah. Well, I'm the bad kind here, so. Yep, yep. That's what we'd like to hear. Uh, would you like to know who your demon is? Oh, I would love to, yes. Your demon is Laurie. Oh, great. Uh, so good. Excellent. Hello, Laurie. Hi. How are you, fella? Oh. Oh. Very tired. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh. no, good. Impy. Impy. Impish. Impy. You are famous impish. for your impish personality. Sprightly. Smiley happy. Laurie, you've got to be somewhat Thank pleased you. that there's zero chance of you solving the game before everyone else and being ignored. Well, yeah, there, yeah, there is that. There is that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. So, here, Laurie, have some pressure. You've had a good run of games. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, lads. Jesus Christ. Can't I go catch a break? Your minion for this game is Brooke. Brooke. And Filet mignon. I have some more information for you. Oh. In this game, Sullivan is the lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> That's very interesting. Here are your demon bluffs. Uh, you Thank can you. choose between the grandmother, Granny, the fortune teller, the fortune teller. And the recluse. Nice. Okay, interesting. Thanks very much. Thank you. Hello. How are you feeling, Sully? Well, as always, when the big baddie stressed, stressed, all the stress. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, but I I I I, uh, I think I have a plan, a cunning plan. Yes. Okay. So, first off, I'm going to tell you what your bluffs are. Great. Great. So your three bluffs are the gambler, mm -hmm. the investigator, mm -hmm. and the raven's keeper. Great. And now, you are going to learn who your minion is. Mm-hmm. And your minion for this game is Brooke. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> so good. Oh, that's great. That is, that is great. Um. <laughs> oh, well, she won't like my plan. She won't like my plan one bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, she's going to hate that. Because am I oh. right in... Th oh, oh, well, maybe I don't give away my plan just yet. I'll, I, I I'll think, talk to I you think, I think you've kind of given away what your plan is by <laughs> saying what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Could be anything. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, well, I'll chat to you about it on the first <laughs> night. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, could be anything. Could be anything. Could be anything, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the plan is. What is the plan? 
I think Sully's plan might be to... I'm just going to make sure we're definitely in the same room. Yes, to self impolate and pass the demon mantle onto Brooke. That will be fascinating. <laughs> if Brooke decides to string him along, that will be truly fascinating. Um, oh, okay. Rules question for you. What do we do as storytellers if a lunatic imp decides to self-kill? Literally nothing. We just go to the imp and say, he's picked himself. And uh, yeah, we don't have to do anything. He's not the imp, so we literally don't have to do anything. And the wonderful thing about this game is there could be a whole bunch of reasons why that self-kill didn't work. Well, it, it, I mean, it, well, the thing is, he, he he won't know that though, will he? Because let's say Sully picks himself and Laurie obliges and kills Sully. Uh, if Sully then goes to Brooke and is like, there you go, you're the imp now. And Brooke's like, yes, I am. That's, you know, she could just lie, right? <laughs> That's true. Oh, I yeah, it's going to be a good day. It's going <laughs> to okay. be a good day, Ben. It is definitely going to be a good game. Um, let's go. Right, I'm going to take a screenshot. Uh, if you're if you're playing Blood on the Clock Tower in person, you'll just show them the Grimoire, but we're not, so I'll take a screenshot. Um, we're going to send this to Brooke, and then Brooke is going to select who she would like to poisson, <laughs> which is fish in French. Ah, oh, such a man of culture, then. <laughs> I know, tell me about it. All right, let's go see it. Howdy. Howdy, indeed. So, we're about to send you a look at the grimoire okay if you use my spidey skills excellent okay so bear with me one second okay um okay and i get to choose a person that i want to poison yes you do uh if you choose yourself no one will be informed that there is a widow in play but of course you're then sacrificing the ability to have a permanently poisoned player Yes. Okay, so I'm debating whether or not to bite either Adam or Angela. Um, so the dreamer, what do they do? I think I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and get Oh, this is tricky. There's a lot of information with both. Um, one good and one evil character, one of which is cracked. I think I'm going to choose um, to poison Angela. Angela it is. All right. I am thrilled to learn that Sullivan is the lunatic. Um, so I don't know who he's been told as his minion yet. Do I? You do not know. You do not know that. Okay. I'm oh, I'm thrilled at this game. It's going to be... Oh, the, the, the lunatic is the perfect demon for Sullivan. <laughs> the perfect. <laughs> the perfect role. It's going to be great. All right. I really hope she plays along. Um, yeah, I, I have a feeling she will. I have a feeling she's got her fingers crossed. Um, that Sully's going to come and speak to her. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think she knows in her heart that there was only one choice for <laughs> yeah, Sully's she... minion. <laughs> um, she... Right, we've got to decide who's who's going to be the player that knows that there is a widow in play. Um, I'm I'm kind of feeling uh, I'm kind of feeling Carly to be honest with you, because first of all. Carly's the sweetheart, so let's give her a little, something a little bit more to do other than, you know, try not to die. But secondly, I think if it comes from Carly, people might be more inclined to question it. Yes, because of all the players on this board, she's the one who would most be able to strategically apply a lie about a widow being in play. Yeah. Whereas it doesn't seem like a play anyone else would do. Yeah, I agree. Um, so let's go visit her and tell her. Hello, Carly. Hey, guys. So, uh, as you probably already worked out, there's only one reason why we'd be visiting a sweetheart on night one in this script. So I am here to inform you that there is a widow in play. Great. That, make, that makes sense that you'd tell me. That'll be awesome. <laughs> Everyone will believe me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, Carly's not got loads to do. Let's give her a really big I responsibility. Well, well I, I'm happy about it because my role doesn't necessarily give as much as I have to withhold. And, um, but yeah, there's, there's a, there's a solid chance that no one believes me at all. And I die very quickly and it's bad for everybody. So awesome. Wow. We'll see how I go with this. Now, uh, the more eagle-eyed viewers will probably notice that, uh, according to the night order, we should have visited Isaac first, but the amnesiac is simply there on the night order to remind you that the amnesiac exists because we as storytellers have completely fabricated his ability. We've also fabricated where he goes on the night order and, uh, it, it makes sense that uh, Isaac as a townsfolk would go after the widow so that the widow has a chance to poison him. So we're going to go and visit Isaac now 
Uh, but I think on subsequent nights we'll probably visit him first because even though normally a townsfolk would go later, it's just easier to remember. I certainly prefer doing it that way. So, uh, but yeah, first things first though, Tom, what ability are we going to make up for Isaac? Um, so we were talking about considering how mad some of Isaac's plays have been for a while. That we would honour his detective roots from those early episodes and give him something deductive to tackle. Yeah. So, what we were thinking, and I think this is a this is a great example of an amnesiac ability because it's very powerful, but Isaac has to spend some time figuring it out. What we're going to do is we're going to each night we're going to wake up Isaac and he's going to select a character from this script. If that character is not in play, we'll put him back to sleep. If that character is in play, we will tell him a letter, a single letter, in the player's name that is currently playing as that character. That's going to give him a nice bit of info to puzzle over each night it's going to give them basically a a puzzle to piece together which Absolutely. is just going to be a, a fun bit of detective work for him so yeah very much on board let's go All see right. him brilliant yep let's see him isaac how is that a head wound going for you have you had any long lasting effects from it uh sorry who are you <laughs> brilliant brilliant okay select a character from this script please oh okay all right um Oh. Pit hag. Okay. We are just putting you straight back to sleep. Cool. All right. Of course, the pit hag is not in play, uh, so he doesn't get anything. He's probably going to... Um, it's probably on day one going to think it's it, he turns into it or that he somehow affects the pit hag or something like that. Um, hopefully, when we if he gets a day or two of cold, he'll start, um, you know thinking about what's maybe testing the characters that other people have told him he is and hopefully he'll get there in the end but i would say only about 30 to 50 percent of the amnesiacs i've run for have actually got their ability before the end of the game if that it's uh, it's quite difficult to do it should be quite difficult to do yeah absolutely so now we visit adam all right let's go see him hello adam <laughs> That was adorable. Hello. Enough of that bit. Hello. Good. Hi. Sorry to, sorry Hi, to Daddy wake ben. you. Hello. Hello. Hello, my son. Um, you're the dreamer. That's a pretty powerful role, right? You've got to be happy with that. Yes. You have sat me between uh, Isaac and Carly, uh, two people who wish me nothing but ill. So I'm, I'm sure I'm definitely <laughs> not poisoned. Uh, but on the off chance that I'm not, I'm not going to choose one of them. Instead, I'm going to go for someone that I... Uh, I had a bit of a confrontation with last game, and I want to make amends. I'm going to dream a little dream of Sully. Dream a little dream of Sully. You learn that Sully is either, and I think you're going to like these two options, Adam. The imp or the lunatic. <laughs> oh, you sweet Boys, I'm just going to grab some popcorn and watch the whole thing unravel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some people might be saying, "Hey, why did you do that? Uh, why did you why did you say imp or lunatic etc etc?" Uh, because it's going to put Adam on a warpath, but there's not really much else you can do because we had to tell him the truth. He is the lunatic. If we give him lunatic or minion, he's definitely going to want to just, you know, execute him. Uh, I think the that was a that was an incredible choice by Adam Night One. That's mm. a huge deal. That's like potentially a game solving bit of advice before we've even really started but um i think also when carly comes out and says there's a widow in play adam's gonna be like i am adam i am the dreamer if i was the widow i would pick me so he's probably gonna think that's total nonsense in my opinion uh okay. we gotta go visit angela now i propose tom that we give angela all townsfolk for the entire game although we can't that's actually like without giving angela angela so i think we go sully Isaac, John, Adam, in that order. I can get behind that. Hello, Angela. Hello. Tonight, we are going to show you Sully. Okay. All right. Good luck, Angela, and we'll see you in Town Square. The sun rises on the paranoid populace of Ravenswood Bluff, creeping into the Town Square unblinking eyes scanning faces for signs of a lie 
or tell-tale specks of freshly spilled blood. Your gaze lifts only to glance at the face of the ancient clock tower, where amidst the scattered viscera of its loyal repairmen, you see that Tom hasn't had time to write a longer intro this month, and so your search for the demon begins now. <laughs> <laughs> also, he's not wearing Jesus. any trousers, and we can see his butt. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> butt on the clock tower. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Get on butt. Get, Get on, on, on butt. Get on butt. Get on butt. That's our next Horrible. t-shirt. Thanks, John. Right, oh, t-shirt. Dear. Um, I'm just a t-shirt generating machine. All right. Um, Get on butt. <laughs> Get on butt. So, okay. Right. Does anyone want to confirm or uh, talk about the existence of a widow? What? what? What's Good a widow? Job. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> it's like, is the, yeah. Is there's a, a, is if there's a, a widow in play. Ask? No, I, no, I, no, I, I, I need to know this. No, it's a good question. Um, this, it, the it, it is it not a bad it. question, and I'm the one who knows a widow is in play, which is just utter garbage because no one's going to believe me. Yeah, but I there is it. a widow in play, <laughs> and that's why they told me, and you all can understand why that might be true, but there is a widow in play, and I know that for sure. Is that, I believe you, Carly. Is that widow you, Carly? I don't believe Thank you, Thank you. Oh, it, 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 Jeez. Mm. Uh, well, I, I expected no one to believe me, but hopefully eventually you guys will. Oh, you martyr. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Oh, I know. I've lied there's, to there's you for 10 can... games. Uh, you don't believe me. Uh, um, hey, hey, I can be more creative than just, oh, Widow is in play. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else want to add or subtract from that claim? I know nothing of a widow. I don't know what the subtraction would be, but if someone else wants to counterclaim that a widow's in play, then I heard you there wasn't a just... widow in play. <laughs> yes, thank you, Laurie. <laughs> Let's oh. go, Carly. The trees told I... me. John, don't think that's do you want to talk? Happens. John, do you want to talk to me? Uh, do I want to talk to you? Yeah, I think you do. do. It. Um, okay. It's it's time and... for your monthly dose of gas, John. Do it, do it Coward. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring um, a light. You you can't kill me. I'm sorry. I can't. You can't. I bloody can't. And I'll tell you why. And I, I'm only going to tell you because you know my style of telling one person, sure, sure, regardless yeah, yeah, yeah. of rule. You, um, you spin no, your no, little no, this, web, but go on. I, I, there is someone else spinning webs, and it's a widow, and it's not me. Um, anyway, um, I am our potential one outsider. I am the sweetheart. So when I die, someone is uh -huh. drunk from now on. So otherwise, okay. I wouldn't care about dying because I'm only an outsider and I'm not an information-getting ability, but someone will be drunk if I do. But Carly, but Carly, why would you tell me this? Because there might be a fangu and you could become evil. Um, do you know why I'm going to tell you this? Because a widow is in play and a widow gets to see the Grim, And so it doesn't matter. They already know who I am. Right, but Carly, So if you're you wanna... evil, if you're evil, you're going to already know whether you're the widow or you're the exact opposite and your widow gets a chance to talk to you. If not, it's worth telling somebody because I want you, I'm not going, I'm going to claim something else to everybody else. Will you tell me who you are? No, absolutely not. Why not, John? John. <laughs> I don't trust you as far as I can throw you, Carly. Hey, Angela. Um, so I am the grandmother. Um, so oh. I trust you. Um, you okay. are my grandchild. Okay. Um, I am willing to to prove that in that by telling you what you are. Um, but please, uh, that that that's go ahead. I I do trust you, but like just for confirmation, what am I? You're the balloonist. Yes, I am. Okay. Cool. cool. Great. Um, so, so just narrow down to... some people. Okay. Already then. Okay. So, so that's we're... two um, townsfolk in play. So that's you and me um, that are, so you're my grandchild. Yes. So, um, but we want to keep you alive. Yes. Because if I, the you... more information that I learn, one of the four people whose names I will be given is going yeah. to be one of the minions and the other one will be the demon. Um, oh, okay. The first cool. name that I have been given has been Sullivan. Hello, Sullivan. How are you? I'm all right. Thank you for asking. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Yes. Feeling fine? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. Feeling not too bad. How are your thoughts? Uh, racing? I suppose, are they racing? I mean, I, d I don't know if these are coded questions for <laughs> trying to work out my role. Look, but, uh... <laughs> Sully, I just want you to know, okay, before I go through this with you, I just want mm -hmm. you to know that you will get through this, okay? Because... 
I've been where you are, Sullivan. Uh, I've gone through it myself, and look, I, I, I'll be right here to walk you through it every step of the way. You're not going to be alone in this like I was, okay? <laughs> what are you saying to me? Sully, <laughs> I, I know you think you're, uh, you're king shit right now. I know you think you have the town at your fingertips. I know you feel like you're on top of the world, but I'm afraid these are delusions. Fantasies, <laughs> uh, delirii. I'm, I, Sully. I'm. I, I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but I am the one to tell you this. But uh, I found out some troubling news about you in the night. Oh shit! It isn't to do with my mental health, is it? That'd be terrible. I'm afraid, Sully. You're the lunatic. <sighs> I thought they'd pull this. <laughs> I thought they would. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've been there, Sully. I've been there. You're a good man. I, I, good I man. needed to pull you out of the quagmire. I needed to. Um, yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm so sorry. How are you feeling? Uh, look, just tell me how you're feeling right now, because you must be feeling so many things. Um, I'm feeling... You know what? Reasonably relieved. <laughs> uh, you know, it's... <laughs> it's it's good to know these things you know um i'm glad that i'm here with you when i'm finding these things out because um you're the you know you're the you're the, you're the person who knows yeah i've been there like. man i've been there man damn man like man yeah i've been there man like you all right bro do you want a hug bro yeah let's let's hug it out bro cuddle? come on yeah cuddle cuddle your camera come on here we go I'm gonna be okay, bro. Be okay. Oh. it's gonna be all right Thanks. it's gonna be good you're uh, you're stronger than you can possibly imagine, Sully. Okay. Thank you. Thank now, you. now, mm. let, let's hatch a cunning little scheme, shall we, to get even with the bastards who did this to you? Yep. yep. Uh, so you know you're not the imp, even though you thought, or whatever it is you thought. What do you think you were? Because they told me imp or yeah. lunatic. Oh right. Oh okay. <laughs> uh... What, what, so what did they tell you? So I'm the dreamer, and they told me that you were either the imp or the lunatic, which means you're the lunatic. I'm so sorry. Oh, why does that mean that I'm the lunatic? Well, if, if not, it means you're the imp. <laughs> but I don't think they probably <laughs> would tell me that on the first day. That's a very, very good point. That's good metering. <laughs> I presume there was somebody who just found out. Uh, a role. I mean, hey, this is either going to be a very short episode <laughs> or a. Uh, well, here's the thing, uh, Sally. It doesn't have to be, because mm -hmm. uh, when I was the lunatic, and I've been there, bro. Like, don't worry, man. You'll get through this. Eat, pray, love. Yeah. But um, one of the things I wish I'd done was not let on that I knew and try and work against the evil guys, because mm. you get to kill. Well. Oh, you know, quotation marks kill every night. Yeah, yeah. And the person who's actually the demon is going to know who you've chosen. So you could sort of force their hand to kind of reveal that you are definitely the lunatic by trying to kill someone inconvenient for them. Mm. Or mm. you could just hang yourself now. Up to you. I'm, <laughs> I'm wondering whether I try and kill myself tonight. Ooh. That's interesting. Yeah. That's really interesting. Hey there, uh, Imp. Yeah. I am your minion. I am the widow. Um, do you have a pen ready? Uh, I do, yeah. Okay, so I got a peek at the grimoire. So the person oh, you yeah. want to kill first is Adam, 100%. Um, he's the What's dreamer. Adam? So He's the dreamer. Adam's the dreamer. Okay, so yeah. the problem we have, Rick, uh -huh. the, problem, the big problem that we have is that yeah. Sullivan, Sully is the lunatic. Who does he think his minions are? I have do no you know? idea. No, oh, but he's crap. talking to Adam currently. And uh, if Adam's okay. the dreamer, he's a one dream. good and one evil character. So basically, I think you need yeah. to try and talk to Sully and work out whether they've given you as the minion. Okay, um, yeah, or you. Sorry, quick, yeah, or me. Um, but real also, quick, I'll, mm -hmm. bluff, recl bluff recluse. I'm going to say that I, I had a P. I'm saying I'm the fortune teller. I'm saying I had a look at oh. Isaac and Brooke. I'm going to say I had a look at you and Isaac this yeah. evening, and I got a one. And then I'm okay. going to say I moved it on and looked at you and Sullivan, and I got a one. And then I moved okay. it on and I got a one later on. So I can I can re-put Sully under the hopefully under the bus, depending on whether or cool. not 
it comes out now that he's the lunatic or not. Gotcha. Um, so we have two outsiders is the thing. Okay, so I'm just going to real quick give you the grimoire. So Isaac is the amnesiac. He doesn't know what he is. Um, Adam is the me. dreamer. Adam's the one you have to kill. Um, Carly's a sweetheart. If we kill her, um, one person's drunk. So that's a good thing. You want to keep her alive. Um, you're the imp. Angela's the balloonist. I've poisoned her. So you can keep her alive. I've also already bluffed that I'm the grandmother. So she trusts me and she thinks her information oh, so is she, good. Oh, so she... Oh, no. Okay, go for that. Because also if Sully kills her, who did you say? Did you say that she was your grandchild? She's, she's my grandchild. Yeah, so she trusts me. Okay, so if Sully kills her, I'll kill you. Okay, cool. That's fine. And, you then can John, kill me. and then what's John? John's the cannibal, so he gets um, information of whoever dies um, or whoever's executed. Um, and then Sullivan is the lunatic, as you know. So, yeah. um, big thing, Adam, Dreamer, kill him next. Um, I uh, keep actually, Angela no, so if, alive. Mm -hmm. oh, so our problem is, actually, no, if Angela gets killed, mm -hmm. if Angela... I should die if Angela get, gets killed is the problem. Yeah, but we can't fix that problem. But we can hopefully... Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So I don't know, maybe bluff. Oh, you can't because you've come out to her. <clears throat> All right, Isaac, what do you, what have you got for me? All right. <clears throat> um. Oh. Okay. The the character or ability that I I pick from the script when I'm working up in the night. Do I adversely affect their role? You are quite cold. Oh. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm trying to suss out of whether or not I think you're good or evil this round. Oh. Well, I'm good. There we go. Uh, oh, well, that's, I mean, I'm convinced <laughs> then. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's totally easy to mind. And i um, feeling good. All right. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so, Why? in the townsfolk, did you learn anything in the evening? No, I didn't. No. No, you don't wake up in the night? No. No, I do not. What about, what about yourself? Um, I do, I did get woken up last night, yes. Ooh, was it Juicy Goss? Um, I mean, I think so, but I don't know if it's what, how relevant it is yet. Has he got anything to do with me? Um, possibly, which is why I wanted to talk to you. What was the, oh, what's, what, what did they say about me? Well, I'm not going to tell you, Sullivan, because that would take things <laughs> away. And what if you're evil? <laughs> oh, no. I'm planning to lie to everyone on the first day, so you're not Are wrong. you? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, oh. I'm lying to you, right? I'm going to lie to you about everything. What's your lie? I'd love to hear your lie. Uh, So I want to do a three for three with you, Laurie. And I'm going to okay. give you Savant, Raven's Keeper, and Amnesiac. Nice. Savant, Ravens. Yeah, but if if you said you're lying, Isaac, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then uh, Amnesiac. I've, I've got to be telling the truth then, yeah. No, because if you said you're lying, then you're not telling the fucking truth. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh, no. So you, so you trust me and you trust that I I'm don't going to lie? Wow. I don't trust you. I'll tell you my three for free, Isaac. I'm the oh, drunk, the it. drunk, and the drunk. Ooh. I, do you know what? Thank you for being so honest with me, Laurie. No, I'll give you. I'll give you the three for three. Oh, I am shit, either. The, I'm either the balloonist, the fortune teller, mm -hmm. or the philosopher. How you? How you doing, bud? Is, is she? I'm, are you all right? I'm fine. She. She's very. She's been very. Um, her outrage seems genuine, but <laughs> but I just. I just can't trust her. Just can't. Which ironically, she's probably good, but I can't trust it. So. No one's no one's gonna hold it against you, John. No one's gonna hold it against you. Every <laughs> every so every nice? comment section they scream at you to not listen. And look, one time it's gonna be the boy who cried wolf, but like there's no trust there. You gotta earn trust, you know what I mean? Adam, this is this is horrendous. <laughs> what what have you done? Are you the demon. No, I'm doing a bit. It's my bit voice. Okay. Uh, okay. how you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm I'm wary. I'm I'm side eyeing everyone in this village. That's fair. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about me, and I'm not going to ask you for anything in return. Really, I just want to get like oh, a, ge a general vibe. <laughs> okay, Carly said she was the sweetheart, <laughs> <laughs> um, but she has only said that to me, and there was a reason for it that was quite complicated. Basically, if there is a widow in play and she's telling the truth, 
she's an she's an obvious kill because then uh sweetheart dies another player is just drunk mm. so if she doesn't die really quickly i will believe her less and think we should just kill her okay thank you for that that, that makes sense that is uh very very helpful i want to trust that you are the good player i got told that there was a widow in play i am would i be making a mistake if i trust you it's not a mistake to trust me. I told John, I so I usually go off the theory of telling one person pretty much everything right away yeah. um, because, and watch how the cards fall out. I told John everything. John told me nothing, mm -hmm. um, which doesn't make me necessarily suspicious of him as a demon because I think he'd try to manipulate me, but I was not here for it, but I also understand it. Um, but I am a good player. Um, I, it, yeah, and there is a widow in play, which means that they've seen the entire grimoire um, which is one of the reasons I was willing to come out to John right away is because I don't think there's any ability to truly hide who we are this game. Oh, that's not good then. Uh, do you know what? I'd never trust you. So today I'm going to trust you. Uh, I'm the amnesiac. Um, oh, cool. What what did any what happened to you, if anything? So at night, um, I'm asked okay. uh, to select a character or ability. I'm not sure if it's character or ability. I should have paid more attention. Um, from the script, uh, I picked Pit Hag. Okay. Um, and then today I asked the storyteller, do I adversely affect the role I chose? And he said I was very cold. Interesting. Yeah. What is what is your plan? Because, like, I know I would just probably pick another minion and see what happens. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait, wait. I know there's a Widow in play, mm -hmm. which means inherently there's not a Pit Hack. Pick a Widow and see what happens. Oh, okay. That's a good shot. Hello, Sullivan Brown. Hello. How are you feeling? <laughs> and who are you? Me? Well, who are you, sir? No, more importantly, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am, of course, the grandmother. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that... Did you, did okay. Angela tell you that? Oh, won't it? Won't it? Mm -hmm. Won't it? Are you my grand? Am I your grandchild? Uh, no, you're not. Ah, oh, I'm glad that would be weird. No. Um, who are you? Okay. I've. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've had a wild night, Brooke. You've had, I've a, had wild a wild night. night. I've had an absolute wild night. Yeah. What's going on, Sullivan Brown? <laughs> What's going on? You, yeah, well, I, just... <laughs> I knew it. I what? knew it. What? 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 What do you know? Are you evil? Uh, are you evil? Are you evil? You are evil. You are definitely no. evil. No. Now here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Brooke. Yeah. I'm not evil. You're not and evil. And I know that I can, I I can say that with such confidence. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um. By all means, please do have a chat with one another, share information. This is an eight-player game, so you have, uh, I would say, a somewhat limited amount of time to gather information. Uh, but nominations are open should you wish to make them. Um, I don't have a specific nomination, but I just want to say, because I know there's a widow in play, and you guys can be the judge of whether you believe me, someone has seen the full grimoire who's evil, a minion is not going to be shaky in their bluff. Um, because they literally seen who all of us are. And if you're trying to bluff as something, good luck, because they've already know who you are. And so if you're a powerful ability, be wary, because they get to poison one person um, for the like for the game. And if you're a powerful ability that survives a long time, be extra wary, because they already know who you are. Um, I have some first night information, but I don't necessarily want to share it. There's one person that... Yep, that's all I'm going to say. All, all I will say is, from reading the wiki about the widow, if we do have a widow, we might not. Mm -hmm. Carly might be lying. Mm -hmm. If we do, the <laughs> wiki recommended that in a smaller game, you kill a first night, you uh, poison a first night info person because that will really mess with a small group. Whereas in a larger group, you want to poison a regular information gatherer. Mm. Just something to bear in mind. Yeah. Okay. We should all assume we've been poisoned or drunk or are drunk at all times, I think. Yeah. Until we can prove otherwise. Oh crap. Yeah. Is there <laughs> Is there anyone who can't be affected by that? By being poisoned or drunk? The demon. 
The the widow ah. probably won't, won't choose the demon yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. typically the the um the demon can be uh, affected by it. So if no one dies every night, then <laughs> then you can assume <laughs> that's happened. Ben? <laughs> ben, 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 Ben. Yep. Can I ask a question? Sure. If there was a recluse in play, mm -hmm. because they might register as a minion, would that ping a good player knowing? open brackets knowing a widow was in play without there being a widow in play no because while that pl that while the recluse can register as the widow they don't actually have the widow's ability gotcha. and therefore none of the effects cool. of the existence of the widow would be in play another mystery adam solved. do you have someone have you heard a, a rumor of a recluse in play uh no but i have heard of a recluse uh, not a recluse i've heard a rumor of an outsider in play Oh. Okay. okay. Well, th there should be one. Um, have you heard any other? Has anyone heard rumors of multiple outsiders? Though, with there, there are certain. Um, there are I things that players, can affect it. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, that could have more than one. So we could have mm. a hidden outsider um, amongst us. Yeah, there could if be. Have, there could be a drunk yeah. or a lunatic, or there could be a mutant who's uh, lying because they should. Kind of deal. Mm. Okay. If you have a role that affects the outsider count, uh, eventually try to pass that information off to somebody because that would be helpful for all of us to piece together. On my travels, it's not confirmed, but there's maybe a potential of multiple outsiders, but that's not confirmed yet. I've I've heard that as well that there might be more than one outsider. <laughs> so we could have a poison player and a drunk. This could be this could be really really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus Christ! Oh no. <laughs> Um, Fantastic. Ooh, all of our information is wrong. <laughs> Laurie, after the last Laurie, after the last game, how are you doing? Just wanted to check uh, in. I <laughs> have I I've just reached a place of zen and calm. <laughs> just gonna let the game happen to me, man. See how long that lasts. Not gonna eh? get cross. Should not gonna we get kill cross. Laurie. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say we could put him out of his misery. <laughs> yeah. How'd you like that, Laurie? You say something earnest and someone says, Let's nominate you. <laughs> just, yeah. just do, fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, fucking wow, that did not last. That did not I last. I nominate Laurie. <laughs> okay, Laurie nominates Laurie. Laurie, 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 Laurie. I didn't nominate me. John nominated me. Oh, John <laughs> sorry. <him. laughs> my my allergies, uh, John. Oh, so that's why I'm nominating Laurie. Laurie. Laurie's. Very powerful. Um, Everyone I'm glad say you're allergies. <laughs> um, <laughs> I. I'm very keen that we kill someone. Um, I don't necessarily want it to be Laurie. I don't not want it to be Laurie, but I know nothing about him. Um, and I want to start, I don't want to fall into the trap of the demon just slowly picking us off. Uh, particularly if there is a widow in play, because that means that the demon, assuming the widow got to speak to them, knows all of our roles and will therefore be very, very surgically able to pick us off. I think we should start taking people down. I'm happy for it not to be Laurie if there's a good reason not to kill Laurie. But if there isn't, I say let's get him, fellas. Okay, Laurie? Uh, yeah, I don't want that to happen. Quite frankly. Uh, I've got information that I want to verify this evening. Thanks. Mm. Oh, succinct. Okay. Four votes required. required. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, never mind. We'll, we'll let this go through. Just, okay. just well, before we before this goes, there is a way. Hmm. Hmm. Is that the end of your thought? Way... <laughs> there, there is a way. Oh, God. There is. There is John, a way. Why? Why you? <laughs> there is a way we could kill Lauren and still get information. That's all I'm saying. What? Ooh. what? There is. How? Oh, How do we do that? There is a way. Well, Isaac, Isaac oh. gets it. Um. So, oh. you know. If that's bothering you, we can that we won't lose out. I think I, I think understand. I oh, okay. I, I, I'm okay well, doing that then. Just have a look at the grimoire. That wasn't a super subtle bluff, though, John. Well, I think because if there is a widow, they know who everyone is anyway. Mm. It doesn't mm. matter. I'd rather yeah. you guys know. I think there's a strong possibility. If and, and Carly's I... fucked us, then. I'm sorry. I didn't. You know why they told me. It's because no one would believe me. <laughs> considering, considering. I trust Carly. I trust Carly. Considering the strong possibility 
like strong possibility if there's a widow in play that the demon knows who everyone is. Should we all hard claim? Oh. Unless there isn't a widow. But yeah, if there okay, is a well, widow. Unless there is a, a widow. Conversation, this is a conversation you can all have in a minute, but I think we've gone a little far away from whether or not we should kill Laurie. So uh, we're going to run the vote. Four votes required. Nah, I don't think we should kill him. I think... I mean, I think we should discuss what Adam said, but I also want to kill Laurie. Okay, well, if no one's going to... I'd like to play the game, John. I don't know about you. <laughs> you can yeah, still play I don't now. think... I don't think we kill Laurie. the Clock Tower, Laurie. You can still play. <laughs> yeah. I don't think well, we Well, should we all Laurie. hard claim, then? If, if what John is saying is true? <laughs> If there isn't and a widow, Jesus. this is the stupidest thing we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> That's a memory nonetheless. But also, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Either way, it's good yeah, content, no, right? I mean, there's a widow and then... Uh, it's we fucking should good content. Do. I can't argue with that. But honestly, the demon has bluffs. A widow knows the whole lineup. Let's just see what people say. Um, sure. I'm down for it. You know what? Let's the do it. The only hard Let's part is where we, where we start can impact their ability to... To, yeah, but yeah, okay, okay. It, it's fine. We you should, guys all, yeah. you guys all know who I am, so maybe don't start with me, or do? Shall I just go? Kick us off. Tell us. Kick us off, yeah. John. This is wild. All right. Wait, can, can, I, I... can I just say something? Though? <laughs> I just please, like the fact that we are, we're like we're at this kind of big party. Wait, we're all revealing do ourselves. You guys want... Wait, wait, wait. Let's do this tomorrow. Maybe. Mm. Why? No, Why maybe it... if you say if you say because if there's any chance they did not get a chance to talk today, though there's most likely they did. Um, if there's any chance at all, we might have a day of additional better information. Um, mm. And if we if we don't kill anybody, uh, no wait, uh, yeah, I uh, no, but with John, I don't think we're um, I risk actually, if we don't kill anybody, right? I actually think I'm Carly's doing it. I actually think Carly's wrong on this one because I think if we all hard claim, there's too much information for like the demon. Yeah, will kill one of us and might get a powerful role, but if everyone hard claims. Like, you can only get I, one no, of us. I think we can hard claim. I think we should hard claim. I don't necessarily think you should state what information you've gotten already. If you're in information getting role. Why not? Maybe, okay, we'll, we'll play it by ear. But yeah, I'm down for the hard claim circle. Hard can do claim, that. hard claim, hard claim. Gooble gobble, <laughs> gooble gobble. I know there's a widow <laughs> yeah. in play, so. Um, where unless, do we want to start? Do we want to start at the top? The, um, unless, 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 unless. <laughs> unless uh, <laughs> Carly is not the widow, but she's another minion. Um, I thought you believed started... me like a second ago. I I did, but I Carly, I've I've played with you before as evil, and I've played with you before as good, and I can't necessarily tell the difference. Um... Yeah, I don't trust Carly at all. We could just kill Carly. <laughs> the thing is, no, no, is no, that no. There John, is actually... you know why you shouldn't kill me? I, I like... <laughs> <laughs> there is some there is some validity to the idea of leaving it till tomorrow because if if I was the demon, knowing that my bluffs are solid, and then that knowing that the widow is going to be fine, bluffing as whatever. You would leave it for the first day just to make sure people aren't going, oh, you chatted on the first day, wouldn't you? So maybe, you know, you're more likely to anyway in that situation, like you would with a spy. So it might be better to hard claim tomorrow rather than today. Second call for mm. nominations. I think we should hard claim. I'll do it. I'll start us off and I'll tell everybody why we're wrong about killing me. But I'll also uh... wait. I think we've got to be okay with it as a group to it. do it. Tell you what. I think maybe yeah, we, we I... leave it one day. Let's leave it one day. It one why? Day. why yeah. What's the advantage what? of leaving it a day? How, how about we do a vote? Simple as that. We, we do a vote. Um, I nominate myself. Mm -hmm. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, as I, I nominate myself as a framing device. I don't actually mean this as a nomination. Would, but let's just, would let's you just like me to <laughs> use the Town Square app to adjudicate oh, this yeah. vote? Yes, That'd please. be great. Oh, Thank God. God. Okay, there we go. Look at, how, look at how multifaceted this game is. This is right. outstanding. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> We're using oh, the courtroom man. for an actual trial instead of just <laughs> killing everyone. <laughs> so, this is not a vote to execute Adam. It is, in fact, a vote to decide whether or not you would like to publicly reveal everyone's characters. Here we go. Adam is the last person it. to vote. Wait, are we not going to discuss it? Okay. This is how. Uh, this is deciding if we're going to reveal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. I think we leave it. I think we leave it, but that's. It's a slim majority. Okay. Yeah. All right. I feel like we should just do it. Let's do it then. Well, let's start with the people who didn't want to reveal then, I think. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, sure. um, <laughs> go on. Wow. That's not oh, so... Do you want to go clockwise? <laughs> we can go clockwise from Sully. Okay. Yeah, let's go okay. clockwise yeah, from yeah, Sully. Sullivan, you'll know like who to hear I am anyway. Yeah. I'm the raven keeper. 
That's my Raven Keeper song. Yeah, that's what they teach you in Raven Keeper School. Good song. Ravens teach you it. It's very good. <laughs> okay. Gosh, a widow sucks for this. Interesting. Okay, um, is it who's next? Is it me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, uh, I was going to tell people anyway at some point, uh, but I am the grandmother, so I know the role of another person, um, and I'm happy to prove it uh, that way. Um, by oh. Te- yeah. Oh, man. Do you want to reveal it no, when they, at the same time as them? Um, yeah, yeah, we can do a count. Person who is my grandchild, um, would you like to reveal on a three? Wait, wait, wait. They'll have to reveal anyway. That's not smart. Wait, oh, yeah, they know. Would that be in the grimoire? It would be, yeah. That would be in the grimoire. Oh, okay. I will just clear this up. I will just clear this up. I am the grandchild. I am the balloonist. Ah, That's the information I got. Okay. Uh, yeah. Isaac? Amnesia. Ooh! <laughs> oh, you forgetful. Forgetful little man. There you are. Oh, you nice. silly goose. Silly goose? Why can't you remember? Adam, you're next. Oh. Uh, how do everyone? I am the dreamer. Hi, guys. I am your, your loving sweetheart. Uh, you're one outsider, but except there's a balloonist, which means we have two. So someone's probably drunk or we might have a lunatic. And also I vote that we kill our grandmother because useless and also could be a double kill. 100%. Okay, and let's... Yeah, well, now I know everybody's role, so yeah, go ahead and kill me. That's fine. Well, we unless you already yet. did. <laughs> oh, sorry. I am Madame Zostra. I'm the fortune teller. Ooh. Okay. Hit okay. that behind a bit. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So. Interesting. Ooh, look look at this, John. You look at kill this me behind a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and John, um, did you say your role out loud for everybody? Yes, I'm, I. I, okay, I think guys, we understood. I, yeah. I am the cannibal, <laughs> which means I'm not, if no, no, we no. execute. If we execute a <gasps> no. good player, I eat them and get their powers for one day, you, which it, is fucking ooh, rad. It, I want to eat wait, Laurie. Wait, no, no. Let me eat Laurie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Execute, execute Brooke because Brooke has already used her ability 100%. and then you get another grandchild with an extra... Oh, yeah. You'll That's know true. someone for sure. For our game. That's however, an amazing play for so many reasons. How, however, Carly, before you get too excited, if I eat a, an evil player... I won't mm. know that I've eaten an evil player. I'll be told whatever the best bluff is, whatever they've lied as, and then I will be poisoned or drunk, whichever mm. one it is. Okay. Sounds like Until fun. So if, good I nominate Brooke. If Brooke is... No, it sounds Brooke, great, okay. but if Carly knows that Brooke's evil, this would be a great way to uh, do that. But it makes sense. It makes sense to eat Brooke. It makes sense either way, though. Like, because we can put those pieces together. It's the best yeah. It's the best move we can make right now. Okay. Well, unless you don't want to keep... Um, if. If you want to keep more good players alive, that's the other thing as well. So but, hang um, on a sec, Brooke. You'll get a chance to defend yourself in a moment. But first, okay. I must ask Adam, if, is there anything you'd like to say before we turn it over to Brooke? Aged meat is more delicious. Eat up, John. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, an what an odd meat. statement. Uh, Brooke, what do well, you say in your defense? Aged meat? Uh, how old do you think I am, Adam? Jesus Christ. You're a, you're a no, grandmother. You're a grandmother. Uh, you're a grandmother. Is nobody true. getting this? I took it. Yeah. I, took, it I took it personally. I took it personally. Um, no, I mean, yes, I, I'm old and withered and, and all nice and sinewy because of my uh, athletic grandmother uh, bouts. But, um, I mean, you know. Gross. Yeah, it's fine. You can kill me. Essentially, my power is over unless I was killed by the demon and then I get a new grandchild, but then um, automatically John would get a new de- uh, other child. So the only reason to keep me alive is to, um, what's it called? To keep a good person alive if we're trusting John. Um, however, I think it might be more useful to get another confirmation of who people are um, if John is, in fact, a cannibal to get also, my power. Does this mean that I eat a grandmother and become a grandmother? <laughs> yes! Yeah. Accurate. You are what you eat, John. Yum, yum, that, yum. Is, that is something I definitely want to happen. <laughs> I will point out, hearing everyone's bluffs, a grandmother would be a, a fantastic one for a widow to choose. Just saying. I, I know there's a widow in play, and so I'm listening to what it is, and that could be a very powerful confirmation role for someone who's seen the grand. Uh, I'm not saying that's true, but uh, we'll see what happens to John. All right, John, eat up. Okay, yum, four yum, votes yum. required. <laughs> Let's stamp this old lady to death, but please uh, leave some for John. I'm, so- Ooh, I'm, just, I'm putting my little napkin oh my around God. my neck and I've got a knife and fork ready we're, to go. With a little lobster on it. In theory, we're enough. keeping you a little safer. <laughs> yeah. My, what delicious flesh you have, Granny. 
Right. <laughs> Kill and eat the old woman in the village. Thanks. Thanks, John. <laughs> and then inexplicably ha have a child two generations down. Let's not yeah. ask too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird town. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't think that you're going to beat seven, so I'll call it in a few seconds unless I hear any other nominations. This may just have been our stupidest day yet. <laughs> well, <that's laughs> uh. All right, Brooke is executed oh, okay. and dies. The game, of course, continues. Everyone goes to sleep. Oh, God, imagine if I'm drunk. Well, that is something of a rough start for evil. Literally, first conversation, day one, Adam goes to Sully and says, Sully, you're the lunatic. And he believes him. Then they execute the widow. Uh, that means Angela is no longer poisoned. Now, uh, I have decided that Sully registered as the demon for the poisoned balloonist. Of course, Angela won't have been told this, but it's important for us to know that um, because we now must show Angela the truth. But fortunately, we've already shown her the demon. So and that lie sticks. Yes, that's right. Yeah, so that remains as it is. We'll now be showing her a townsfolk, um, a minion, and an outsider. I think we'll wait until last for the minion, because Angela will possibly be dead by then. Uh, and so we won't have to show her the dead brook, which would be something of a giveaway, I think. John, the cannibal. Um, he is poisoned right now. In fact, I should probably put a little reminder token. Boom, there we go, poisoned. Uh... So, John's poisoned right now because an evil player died. Now, normally we would tell a poisoned player a lie. We would say, uh, you you learn that such and such is this thing. Uh, but in actuality, we should probably tell John something that is not going to be immediately revealed as false. Because right now, evil are, are massively on the back foot. They've lost 50% of their players. And we really need to give Brooke some legitimacy so that they can focus on other people possibly being the widow. Now, we've got two options for what we can do with that. We can either tell John uh, that Angela is the balloonist or that Adam is the dreamer or something like that. Or we can use John to back up Laurie's claim of fortune teller. Now, the decision that we make there is going to be really difficult, I think, because if we, if we lean too hard into the let's confirm Laurie thing... It, when people, if people start suspecting Brooke was a widow, they they might then start leaning on Laurie, thinking that we're trying to confirm him with our uh, with our night information. So it's kind of a tough call, uh, and I'd I'd like to wait until we make that call. I think. Okay. I think that's fair. I also think that Laurie's best bet at staying out of John's crosshairs at the moment is to kind of stay under the radar. And if John's got a reason to go and talk to him, I think he's potentially primed to be suspicious of Laurie regardless. Hello, Isaac. Oh, I'm not dead. Hello. You're not dead. Although uh, you've obviously got no idea at what point in the night order you wake up because it could be anywhere. So it could mm. be before the demon if we're feeling particularly charitable. Uh, but we're here. Uh, please select a character from this script. Um... Widow. Okay, Widow. E. Sorry, repeat that? E. The letter E, like E for the letter echo. E. That's right. Huh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that was enjoyable. Fun stuff. <laughs> We'll see what he makes of that. I think he'll probably figure it out pretty quickly. He's a smart lad. I, th I think he'll. I think he'll be on it probably tomorrow. Um, right. So now that we've done, now that we've done that, uh, oh, yeah. now let's go see who Sully wants to kill. I'm gonna really enjoy this. Okay. <laughs> hello, Sully. Oh, hello. Well, well, well. I think that you two are dirty rotters. <laughs> rotters, I, mean... I tell you. I, I was present for that conversation, Sully. Are you not slightly concerned that that was just a good guy poking and prodding and hoping to convince a demon that they are in fact the lunatic? Mm, I was concerned about that. And I thought, well, there's only one way out of this sticky mess. And that's to kill myself tonight. Either way, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, 
either we just think I was the lunatic the whole time and nobody suspects a star pass, or indeed uh, uh, I am the lunatic, in which case the demon might not kill me. But it doesn't matter, I'm just a lunatic and I can just, you know. The thing that confirmed it for me, though, was chatting to Brooke and then she, uh, she was like, Oh, I'm the grandmother. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm Brooke. <laughs> yeah, that's a pitch perfect Brooke right there. <laughs> Nailed it. Thank you, thank you. I've been working on that for ages. Are you, are you an actor, Sully, or something? That was incredible. I went to the Bristol Vic Theatre School, um, home of many different Oscar winners, and me. Um, <laughs> and I don't feel like there's a big difference between me and you know the Daniel Day Lewis's and the Olivia Colmans of the world. I agree. Uh, oh. Yeah. Their brooks are terrible. Uh, you know what, mate? In my eyes, in my eyes, you're the first of the Mohicans. Thank you. That's what I've always wanted. Uh, great. I'm going to kill myself tonight if I am indeed the demon, which I'm. I don't think I am, but either way, I'm fine. I, I mean, if you are, and Brooke really was your minion, it's game over. So uh, yeah, let's. Uh, we'll we'll find it? out. Is it well, really? I mean, you we. We told you you got the imp token. We told you your minion was Brooke. Brooke's dead. So if you if you kill oh. yourself, then the game That's is over. That's a really good point. That's a really really good point. You're That's absolutely really, really, sure really that you want you positive you want to do this, Sully? I mean, yeah. I mean, why would Brooke pretend to be the grandmother in front of me? It doesn't make any sense. There's no reason why a minion would lie to their demon. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm the lunatic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. Hello, Laurie. Hello. So tonight, guys, Sullivan picked Sullivan. Sullivan picked Sullivan. <laughs> Sullivan yeah. picked Sullivan. Sweet baby, fucking James. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Sullivan. <laughs> Sullivan, it is. Oh my god, this is not boring. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, okay, not at all. We so we should probably go. It really doesn't matter what order we do these in now, but we might as well go visit John because and get it out of the way. I'm thinking there is actually a third option that I didn't say at the beginning of the night phase, and it's tell John that someone is the drunk but I, th I think that's probably not a good idea because I think it's going to emerge very soon that Carly and Sully are the two only two outsiders in play so I think what we should do is we should tell John that Adam is the dreamer that's going to make Adam quite confirmed well it's going to do one of two things it's either going to it's either going to make Laurie want to kill Adam which is good for the evil team or it's going to make Adam seem suspicious which is good for the evil team so it's a win-win in that situation I think and also Adam is the the person who's like confirming Sully to some degree and I just yeah it's going to throw a lot of things out of whack I think so uh, that's that's what I'm up for if you're if you agree um agreed yeah let's go speak to John let's do it good evening John hello so we are here to tell you uh about your your grandchild. You didn't know this? Uh, you've been working with him for years. You've seen him at conventions and stuff. But it actually turns out that Adam is your grandson. Okay. And like all uh, good grandchildren, he is a dreamer. Right. But if I... If Brooke was evil, then you would be lying to me. I might be lying to you. You, yeah, sure, Ben. You might, you might turn up the opportunity to lie to me. Yeah, I'm, sure. Yeah, I, I might. You. you don't know. Oh, you don't. I you don't know what I do. Possibly take another bite of, <laughs> of betraying John. Says Ben. <laughs> I mean, I am quite full at this point. <laughs> yeah. <fair. laughs> Hello, Adam. I'm still alive. You are still alive, and in your, as you project yourself astrally this fine night, <laughs> whose mind would you like to invade? Uh, well, through my projected ass, I would like to uh, invade the dreams of. Oh, it's between two, Father Benjamin. It really, really is. Uh, it's between Laurie and Carly. Okay. Uh, I don't, don't trust Laurie one bit, but I feel like I need to get a. 
demon or not read from Carly, so I'm going to go for Carly, please. So Carly is either the sweetheart or the widow. Not a demon, then. Lovely stuff. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so some people might be like, why didn't you say demon? Uh, but if you say demon every single night, it's going to become... When, when someone is finally selected uh, they, uh, and they're actually a minion, it'll make it super obvious they're, they're a minion. Of course, the minion is dead, but you've still kind of got to do that for best practice. Also, I think that by choosing Widow for Carly, it's going to... If she starts campaigning for Laurie's death, it's going to make her seem even more suspicious because I think people are already like like 50-50 on the fence as to whether or not Carly is legit or this is actually a Widow play. Because a great widow play would be to be the widow, poison yourself, say that you've seen a widow and that at least one person's definitely poisoned, and then you basically force the town to ignore one piece of information, uh, even though they shouldn't do, which is, I think, pretty powerful. So, yeah, number of reasons I did that. That's uh, that's a sort of summary of them. So, what are we going to tell Angela tonight? <clears throat> okay, so I think we tell Angela Carly, because Angela's already seen Sully, and it's going to emerge that he is he was the lunatic and it's going to make everybody it's going to confuse people put it that way uh it's going to if it confuses people because it makes people think either sully or collie is lying that helps the evil team which is our entire purpose right for the rest of the game now uh if it confuses people because it makes people think that angela is widow poisoned that's even better because they're going to discount all of her information when three quarters of it is useful hello angela hello so uh you are still alive you'll be pleased to to know and oh uh, tonight from from your lofty posts in your hot air balloon you spy carly okay all right thank you see you in town square what e what the hell is e Hold on. E? What the fuck is that? Okay, no. So, it's got something to do with characters who are in play. You know, one that... E! Good morning, everyone. You assemble in the town square to see, filled with more hot wax than an episode of Batman, the museum ready remains of... Sullivan. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> what? All right. Very, very interesting. What? Was Sullivan so, the poisoned did, one? Sully no, I can give Sully, you what did you learn? Is that... To what? Tom? Ben? Is that everything? That's that everything. is everything. Okay. Sweet as a nut. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Oh, what? Jesus, fuck. <laughs> what's, what's going on? Uh, oh. Sully, would you like to explain or shall I? Yeah, I'll explain. I'll explain. <laughs> oh, big old risk. Big old risk. But I must thank Mr. Adam Blompier. Um, on the first day, Adam came to me and said, people say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. And he said... Um, and he, he said to me that he had a reading of either lunatic or imp. And I was like, ah, interesting. All right. Okay. Interesting. So I went along and t spoke to the person who I thought was my minion, who I was told was Brooke. That obviously is not true. Um, oh, that's and so, being so weird. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I had a really weird conversation with Brooke where I was like, who are you? And she was like, well, I'm the grandmother. Who are you? And I was like, no, who are you? And she was like, I'm the grandmother. Who are you? And I was like, oh, shit. Okay, yeah. I'm, yep, I'm sorry, right. sorry. I've been there. No. I'm sorry. Adam, you helped me through this. You've been there yourself, and I'm, I'm so grateful for that. I'm here for And you, then man. tonight I was given the option to... Uh, you know who I wanted to kill and I chose myself because I was like I'm pretty damn certain I'm the lunatic uh this is my one last test but then the storytellers did remind me that if I was the imp the game would be over <laughs> uh and because Brooke who was my minion 
would uh, would be uh, was already dead, so she wouldn't be able to be my minion anymore. Um, so I was like, oh <laughs> shit, this is a big risk. Good boy, uh, Sonny. Big but play. But I'm going to go for it anyway. Big play, big play. But now confirmed lunatic. So happy about that. Well, and also, I think well, that, that pretty well, much that confirms Adam with... as well. Love that. Well, it also oh, works God. out with what Angelo was saying as the balloonist, because that would be a reason we have two outsiders in play, you and yeah. myself. Yes, absolutely. Um, mm. yeah. But I believe but also, you, as well, Carly, yeah. you you were yeah. you were said that you were the imp, which is helpful information because it's even though it's possible mm -hmm. that you were given a lunatic false demon role, it's unlikely. Mm -hmm. um, mm. So that's pretty cool that we can right. have that as a reassurance well, i can confirm after feasting on the delicious if slightly gamey remains of grandma <laughs> brooke that uh, <laughs> i have discovered a long lost grandchild that i didn't know i had so they might be lying to me in order to maintain a bluff if brooke was evil i'd be poisoned now um but mm -hmm. either way i've been given mm -hmm. a grandchild or you could be evil too or you could be evil yeah that's true yes or Who's i could be evil Who's... too yes <laughs> isaac can i talk to you privately I thought we had, uh, wait, is, is there not information coming? <laughs> actually, yeah. Are we going to get John's information? I mean, I don't want to say who it is that? because if it is a real grandchild and they're killed, I'll die as well. That's a good shot. Oh, oh. that's actually a good. Yeah, that, that's, oh, yeah. Keep it to yourself. John yeah, did no it line shit. up with what they said yesterday. That's <laughs> all we need to tell you. <laughs> all right, I'll keep it to myself. I'm about to tell everyone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, that would be a double kill for a demon. Yeah. Don't keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Good point, good point. Uh, John, do you feel like you trust me enough to tell me in private? Uh, I would like to, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'll have a chat with you because Sully appears to have cleared you. So we can chat, yeah, okay. Yeah. John, what have you got? So, I mean, the only the only issue is if you did some ludicrous play and Sully, you are the demon, and you killed yourself and Adam is your minion. Oh yeah, that um, could, that, that, yeah, that actually that's... could be true. Yeah, yeah. Would it would it ease your mind if I left? Because I'm you know I'm dead. I'm I'm less useful. I mean, if you're a team, you're a team. I think I think it doesn't matter mm. because uh, yeah. Well, either way, I well, could we'll just pass on the information anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it doesn't matter either way because Adam, you are my grandchild, and I don't think if you are the final demon, you're not going to kill yourself. So Ooh, uh, for the and purposes you were told, of dreamer, I don't I don't get told anything. I just get told who my grandchild is. Oh John, oh John, you've oh you've made me awfully suspicious of you there, sir. Because if you were if Look you were the grandmother, thing. you 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 would become you would know who I was. Oh, I'm gonna check with Ben. No, genuinely, I I mean I I know you're the dreamer check already. Check with Ben because maybe maybe either that means that either oh, John is lying poisoned. or <clears throat> that you you've been poisoned and Brooke was the was the widow or something. Oh, God, I hope I haven't just forgotten what he said. Uh... I'm not getting uh, social read wise. I'm not getting a suspicious vibe of you, John. So I wasn't. I was, I'm genuinely. Until... <laughs> if, this is a mis if this is wrong, I've made a mistake. Uh, I think he just told me that you were my grandchild. Do you do you want to go and check? <laughs> yeah, I'm just messaging him. I'm, he's currently talking to Carly. Mm. But yeah, I, just reading the thing now. I mean. This would be quite a basic mistake for me to make. I feel like I'd be more on it if I was evil, because I definitely want to make sure I didn't fuck this up. Mm. Just putting a little red thumbs uh, down next to your name. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> no, don't. This is such I a lazy eat mistake. People. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not evil. I only eat people. That's all I do. Don't I've gone so I hard on the cannibal thing. Can you imagine if I, I just eat grannies? <laughs> Yeah, I just eat old women. Don't worry about yeah. it. I'm not evil. <laughs> Why is everyone pointing right, would, you, would, you want, would you want me to leave? I can go to the village and you can talk and I'll come back when I've spoken to Ben. Yeah. Shall I do that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, Solomon. Yeah, that sounds like we might have caught him on a little lie. Hi, what did you get last night? I got an E, which is great. It what means... is that? Oh, did you actually do the widow play? Did yeah, you pick yeah. widow? Yeah, and they oh, told okay, me. Okay, okay. Sorry, I was like, what does so, that mean? Oh, no. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, so okay. I'm thinking. Okay. The, Eve, the widow has an E in their name, which leads me to believe maybe it's Laurie or Angela, or maybe Brooke is evil and John has just gotten nonsense. See, okay. So I have. I would be. Though it is possible that it was a lie, because yeah. he died, I have an inclination that. 
Sully wouldn't immediately bluff Raven's Keeper and then kill himself without, like, like, and just to say I'm the lunatic if that wasn't true. Um, but that also, but that, but the only way that that could happen if there was an imp would be, and that's based off Adam's reading of him as either imp or lunatic. Mm. Um, also, but Angela would be the reason that both of us could be an outsider. I really, okay, so like, and maybe this is a bad guttural instinct, but Brooke claiming a role that needs to know another character's role mm -hmm. is a really strong bluff to pick up as someone who gets to see the full grimoire. Wait, 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 wait. No, do you know what you should do now? Sully said that there was an imp in play, or that he at least was the lunatic that thought he was an imp. You should pick imp next round and see what you get. Hey, Angela. How are you? Oh, I am good, although I am slightly confused because the other name that I got this round, this night, was Carly. Okay. And did and it give if... you... No, no. Again, they don't give me a role. They just give me a name. So I mm -hmm. have... If Sully was, in fact, the lunatic, that makes him an outsider, correct? Yeah. Okay. Carly is a sweetheart, therefore is also an outsider. I must be poisoned. Okay. That's the only thing I can think of. Because, like, if they're both outsiders, I should not have both of their names. I'm supposed to learn one of each role, not, one like, two of the same role. Okay. So I, that... I have to be the poisoned one. So the widow must have poisoned me, which makes sense. I am a very powerful character. Yeah, if I that find out who sense. they are, then they like, or with a, such a small group, if I find out who either of the two are, it really kind of narrows it in a little bit more. Yeah. So I do think I must be the poisoned one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because either, so Carly and Sullivan must be, they must be different categories is what that means. And so well, I, just think, I just think that they gave me a name of somebody who is not also a uh, basically I think they gave me wrong information. I think they gave me one of either of their names as a this is supposed to be your townsfolk, but neither yeah. of them are. So either the next two names I'm going to get if I live, which who mm. the heck knows, yeah. um, will either be the minion or the demons mm. or all of my information is or they're just going to give me entirely yeah. incorrect information and nothing i get will actually be valuable to anybody okay interesting so my worries are that i'm poisoned obviously and obviously i've uh. also got uh i've also got um the potential that someone registers badly to me yes because day one i checked you and sully mm -hmm. and i got a yes so I wanted to one. double check. I got a yes, but I wanted okay. to check last night what the uh, new information would be. So <clears> last <throat> night I checked you and I checked Carly. And I also got a yes. So I'm starting to think mm. that maybe I've been the one who's been poisoned, but I don't know. I mean, it certainly makes me look bad. Yeah. Which is inconvenient for me. I really need to yes. talk to Ben. This is quite urgent. Hello there. Okay. Um, I, I need to word this really well. Um, all well right. to be honest I... with you, if you if you word if you if you're guessing a specific ability, as long as you're like, you know, mostly there, I'll give you a bingo because you're never going to guess the exact words that I oh, have in my head, okay. right? Awesome, awesome. Cheers for that. All right. <laughs> so, is my ability? I pick a character or ability or role, whatever, from the script. Um, and. I learn a letter from the person's name of that character slash role that I picked if they're in play. Wow. That's a bingo, Isaac. You've nailed it Ooh. on day two. Well done. All right, sweet. Oh, 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 in that case, question. If I were to pick Brooke again, would I get more letters or would it still just be that same <clears throat> E? Um, you, didn't, you, you don't, you don't, you pick a role. Sorry, sorry. If I picked Widow again, would I get more letters from that role or just the same letter? I think you can reasonably assume that I would give you the same letter. So we were talking to John and he says, I'm the grandmother. And uh, he, he, he was he almost kind of like, well, actually, maybe you both could be like doing a big brain play. But I'll tell you, and he said, uh, Adam, uh, you're my grandchild. And I was like, oh, right. So okay. what did the storytellers tell you I was? And he was like, oh, they didn't tell me anything what you were i was like what he was what? like oh no no they just said that you were my grandchild and i was like oh john 
Oh dear, he did. And, and now he's gone off to speak to Laurie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's get him. No. <laughs> John. That Let's little rascal. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little red thumbs down next to Laurie's name. The the imp that played Cannibal. Ben, I made a mistake. I can't remember if you told me what Adam's role was or not. I did. Because yes. I was thinking of something else. You did. Yeah. Can you remind me what it is? It, it's the dreamer. Oh, yes. He did it, Tom. He did it. Thank you, I Ben. I didn't think you would. I honestly didn't think you would, man. Um, <laughs> no, that's I, all right. I mean, it's no, it's no fun being denied the use of your own ability, right, at the end of the day. And while I want you to I guess, suffer, I, don't, I want you to also have, feel obliged to say that you enjoyed it. Oh, Ben, I've, I'm genuinely touched. I thought you were going <laughs> to throw me out of my ear. Hello there. What's going on, mate? Um, have you learned any more information as the, the fortune teller? What does your crystal ball tell you? Yeah, so night one, the reason I wanted to confirm things was okay. night one I looked at Sully and John. Yeah. And I got a yes. Ooh, okay. And then last night I looked at John and Carly. Yeah. And I got a yes. Oh, I I trust Carly. I think Sully's good. Do we go after John? So we could go after John. Could go after it depends. John. Okay. But I don't really know. We just have to see what people are going to start saying now. So. Oh, what do you mean you don't really know, Laura? You're usually well. No, really no. So my on. so no because remember the widow poisons somebody as the first action they do. Fair enough. Yeah. And so like either Sully was telling the truth mm -hmm. and he he was the lunatic. Mm -hmm. There's also the option that he was the imp that's passed it on. Yeah. There's the option that he was a fangu who picked an outsider mm -hmm. and turned into an outsider. Sorry, mm -hmm. that they he died and then the outsider becomes the thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Oh, that's a good shot. Because it could be. So it could be the case that. Yeah, I don't know that Carly could be the demon now. I'd... If she was an outsider, you know what I mean. Yeah. I don't know. That's that's like another, that's another potential. But we've just we've zeroed in on, I don't know. <laughs> just a bit lost, really. Need a bit more info. No, same. I'm really lost as well. Um, on my first, so I'll give you my information because you've given me. Yeah, yours. go for it. Um, so the first day, I was like, do I adversely affect um, a role that I've chosen? Uh, and I got mm. cold. Um, I said, do I protect? Uh, I got cold. All right. Yo. I, do I double checked with Ben and Tom and they did tell me and it was Dreamer and I just forgot because I was, I was uh, confused. But I would have known that either way, even if I was evil. Yeah. I, ge I think genuinely this is my mistake. Uh, do, do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I, I get where you're coming from, for sure. If I was poisoned, I would have also been told you were the Dreamer. So it's not it's not a thing that I wasn't told because I'm evil. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, if, yeah, I they would tell you I was a dreamer no matter what, because that information's out there yeah. for sure. I got a read off Carly in the night and I got the read of either Sweetheart or Widow. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, shit. But that's, that's fine. So unhelpful. It just means that she's definitely not the demon. 100 yes. 100p. I, I know I'm not poisoned because of the Sully thing. I know that for sure. Even if other people don't necessarily believe me i know that i'm not poisoned because the widow didn't get me Great. first night and i don't think obviously carly's still alive and those are the only forms of drunkenness and poison on the script so carly's definitely not the demon uh i'm mega sus of laurie laurie is the person i've got big crosshair over okay should we just kill laurie then yeah i think so um i i, I mean I'll... i can i can then use his power which would be very useful laurie i'm suspicious of you why are you suspicious of me? Rumor has it you might be our widow. Our widow? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm the fortune teller. On the first night, I got a reading of yes on Sully and John, and then wanted to double check. Uh, and then Sully died. Uh, so I ended up having to choose John. And I chose John and you as a control, and I got a yes again. Wait, you chose John and Sully, and then John and me? Yep. Well, I'm fine with that. I actually think John might be our actual imp um i was you were just a secondary to me so i think everyone's pretty much on board for offing john tonight today cool please yeah not. um i don't trust you necessarily That's, but i'm, I'm cool on the john you don't, have to, you don't have to trust me it's fine 
This is the whole I point know, of the no game. One I don't tr trust you. I don't trust. I don't trust you. I don't trust anyone. That's just why the way the game goes. Why don't you trust me goes. at this point? Um, why don't you trust well, me at this point? There's multiple. There's multiple things that kind of build me up. There are multiple things that kind of build you up, but there is also the opportunity for there to have been a fangu, and you could now be the demon. Is there? So maybe. I don't if, think if, so. If well, okay. So if Angela is lying, well, I guess that's coming. But I don't think Angela is because right now we have two um, people claiming an outsider. And so here's that's the fair. thing: there's I did consider the potential of Sully lying about being the lunatic and actually being our demon that passed off their role and trying mm -hmm. to push the whole like balloonist thing and Angela being evil. But if that was true. In order for the outsider count to like match up, like we would, it just still would have to be an uh, an imp or not a widow in play. Like it just doesn't make sense. I'm so glad that you didn't nominate me yesterday, and thank you not for not doing it because you did allow me that day, and yeah. you can see why I wanted that day. Um, <sighs> yeah, now it makes a lot of sense. But also, yeah. if you had killed yourself, what a ballsy! Oh, can you imagine if you would have killed yourself and the game would have ended? That would have been oh, insane. It, honestly, honestly, yeah. it would have been, oh, it would have been nuts. It would have been absolutely, absolutely nuts. Absolutely fucking nuts. I've seen many things <laughs> in my years, <laughs> uh, but that would have been one of the crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, are we thinking? I mean, it depends what John says after this rules clarification business, because he says yeah. that he's got rules clarification from Ben, and that it's all okay. I think we killed John. Well, I mean, he ate an old lady. Like, come on. He ate a, well, he this, ate is a what I was ah. this is what I was saying. This is what I was saying to Adam. Me, Adam, and Yeah. I'm Betty White of Ravens with Bluff. It, it makes me very sad. What was the best cocktail you had? A best cocktail? Um, yeah. Best cocktail was French martini, baby. You had a French oh, martini. Oh, it's really nice, isn't it? It was so good. You know what? I'm going to show you a photo. I can show you. Oh, well, no, I can't show you a photo because I can't look at your screen. Um, yeah, just like so smooth and. Show, show everyone smooth. at home. Show everyone, I'll at, show home. everyone yeah, at home. I, I, I'll I, take I, the hit. I don't mind. Okay, all right. This, everyone, which I will find now, is a French martini, and I had so many of them on my holidays. It was so good. All right, one sec. I'm getting there. Here it is. Here it is. It Hello. It's a bit like that. Ooh. Oof. Oh, I can't see what it, but I bet it's great. <laughs> it is. It's what? Uh, vodka, Chambord. Uh, what else is in a French martini? I, you uh, know Sullivan, what? I don't you're, even a, know. you're a fancy person. You know what's in a French martini. A full baguette, uh, <laughs> a plate of brie, <laughs> and a tiny mime artist. That's some fucking garlic, am I right? <laughs> it's a fucking garlic a and a fucking right. string of onions. Am I right? <laughs> fucking French. Uh, pineapple juice is the answer. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, that's the one. Vodka, that's Chambord, the one that's and right, pineapple. Man. Welcome back to the town square, everyone. Uh, by all means, make nominations. By all means, have a chat. But nominations are, of course, open. Oh, I hate to do it. Do we still it. want to off John? Uh, I nominate John. Nominate all right, me. Adam. Yeah. What tell, him, tell us why you've nominated John. I hate to hang a man on a mistake, but I'm about to. Uh, so no, John, John oh, came God. to me uh, and Sullivan and said that he uh, got the power of the grandmother and was informed that I was his grandchild, uh, but wasn't told uh, what role I was, which obviously is not the grandmother's power. It may be a, a, a crazy brain fart, oh, but uh, I'm it sorry. Is. It's, it's it's too much of a mistake to not hang you on, John. And also, we were you talking about cocktails, you, you fucking snake in the grass. You immediately went to talk to <laughs> Laurie, who's the other person I'm massively sus on. I was uh, waiting for Ben. Laurie Look at the timestamps in the chat. Laurie, our widow in waiting. Uh, so I, I, I just think it's, yeah, no. let's kill John today, kill Laurie tomorrow. Oh, is my god is my big scheme. no yeah. seriously i dig it i, I dig it i dig it i dig it you know the do you know the reason that i spoke to john is cuz i was sat in the town square on my own for ages and he was the first person to come back that's the only reason that i was there chat. bored waiting for ben and laurie was there <laughs> but laurie you said you were suspicious of john too i also was suspicious of john yeah i uh, <laughs> oh, I, 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 <laughs> no no i literally oh. i've just told i've just told carly this information i've told isaac this information on the first night, I I looked at Sully and John, and I got a yes. On the second night, as a control, I looked at John and Carly, and I got a yes. You did say this. 
Guys, genuinely, please uh, don't do this. This is really, this is actually really annoying. This is a stupid mistake. Yeah. I cannot stress to you how much of a waste of time this is. John, I'm really I, sorry I fucked up. I would have got this information even if I was evil. I know. The I, e it, it's, they would it's, have lied to me just... and given me the same information. It makes This makes no sense. Genuinely, John. It's sense. for me. It, for me, my reasoning is it's between uh, three people: you, Isaac, and Laurie. And the mistake just fell do, in line with that no, no, triangle. No, but the mistake doesn't make sense because I would still have been told your role. They would have lied about your role. Seriously, what? think about this point before you vote. No, no. I what doesn't make told, sense is the, is the John, idea. If you were lying, it wouldn't right, happen okay, at all. So let's let's give John a moment to like mm. actually right, say right. more than half a sentence. John, take take your time. Okay, Say your piece. Right. So what I was assuming the situation was that I've been poisoned and therefore they gave me a fake role. Okay. Oh, I see. So you think I'm just lying about being the cannibal full stop? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, just I'm, I cannot yeah. wait for that. That guy did the TikTok where it was like, John gives you all his information. Then you're like, what if he's evil and you kill him? Because that's this. I did genuinely make a mistake this time. <laughs> Do you think I would have made this stupid a mistake? I would have just lied and gone, oh, yeah, of course you're the dreamer. It's the easiest thing in the world. Sorry, this, is, this is a fucking waste, guys. I've never been annoyed in a game of Clock Tower before. I'm annoyed at myself for making this mistake. This is a genuinely stupid thing that I have done, and I urge you not to waste your vote on this. I hope you can feel the actual passion in my voice instead of the joke passion that I do when I'm like, oh, I'm annoyed. Oh, God. All right. I, I can't say anything else. This is, this is a fucking wow. waste. This is a genuine waste. Okay, we're gonna run the vote, guys. I think that that's probably the most impassioned oh, defense I've. God, I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and say probably the most impassioned defense Yikes. I've ever seen. Uh, but is it a lie? Let's go. Oh, <laughs> Brooke, don't vote. Brooke, don't vote. I'm You're not gonna no use my ghost vote. Don't use your ghost vote. You would have to if you were. Yeah, no, I'm just saying me. don't vote. I'm saying don't vote, John. I'm saying Why don't vote. Why are you even vote. considering it? Five I wasn't enough. considering it. I was just saying. Don't, you know, don't Guys, this is the phone. stupidest thing you've ever done. I cannot believe, admittedly, stupidest thing I've ever done. It might be the stupidest thing you've ever done. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you've done this. You've it's done a, this It's a us. tiny mistake. You... John, you've eaten a little old lady. You've eaten me. Uh... <laughs> I can't believe you think I would do this on purpose. That I would actually be like, oh, I don't know which one it is. Maybe I won't say. It's like, oh, God. Oh, comments. I mean, I, I guess I guess rinse me as well, but please rinse them as well, comments, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. God, this is so well, annoying. John is on the block with five. Uh, it's going to be quite difficult to lift off of that, I think, but uh, I'm taking nominations if you want. Uh, There's no point in me nominating anyone, um, but this is, su this is such a waste. And whoever's pushing this, whoever has gone, ooh, I can take advantage of this mistake is the, your evil player and they are doing it beautifully they have wrapped you around their little finger i'm gone now but just think about who pushed for this because they are having a fucking free ride and it's really annoying because this is not through skill well it's through my lack of skill and it's really irritating wow i don't know what to say other than oh, God. john is executed and dies and everyone goes to sleep oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Wow. I've, I, I'm have i feeling a, a, a very much a mixture of emotions about that. I think you can... Do you know what? The, 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 this is a game that's quite hard, and sometimes people can get really frustrated, and it's, all, it's kind of heartbreaking to see that, because you can tell just by the look on his face that, like, he, he knows he done goofed there, but... What can you do, you know? I think he fought... To be honest, like, personally, if I'd have been in that game and seen him give that much of an impassioned defense, that would have been all I needed to know because I've never seen him, like, be that impassioned before. Well, I think that's the thing. These guys can't look at him. They've only got his voice. Oh, that's true, um, actually. Yeah, that's really... I, I, I forget, I, I forget about think... that. We, we're looking at everyone's cameras and yeah. the rest of the players yeah. aren't. Yeah. They've just, got, they've just got his voice and... um, Yeah, I think a lot of the differences between Evil John lying and good john true thing um a lot of those distinctions and that frustration are yeah are facial yeah. and that it's tough actually is a perfect example of why i see a lot of a lot of times in the comments on these videos i see people saying ah oh, this game must be terrible in person it must be way better online it really isn't like little subtle things like that body language looking someone in the eyes nudging someone in the ribs when they're sat next to you to quickly whisper a lie to them 
all of these things that you can do when you're face to face with other human beings that just don't exist online and it adds a whole extra layer to the game and uh, yeah that really is like a great example of why and you guys will be seeing that and you'll be asking yourselves why was nobody listening to him and it's because they couldn't see his body language isaac hello hello i see you spent yesterday lying to everyone about whether or not you figured out what your ability is do you want to take us through that um so here's the thing right i have decided to fully trust carly whatever happens which means everyone else i'm talking to is a potential widow or demon now we all, all our roles have been exposed so if if i'm speaking to someone's evil and they genuinely think i don't know what the fuck i'm doing um that's a perfect alibi for them to not kill me and i'm still alive so it might be working okay um and tonight oh it's one of two roles i'm gonna go with imp <sighs> now you, you'll know by the fact that I've uh, waited a moment that uh, uh -huh. that you're going to get a letter. Oh, yes! But the, yes! But the, question, the question is, do I be a dick and give you an A? <laughs> no, no, no. Because that, that just invalidates my power completely. <clears throat> That's true. Please. That is true. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you the letter L. Yes! Yes! Wait, am I poisoned? <laughs> well, I couldn't possibly tell you that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll I'll take that. Thank you. You are you are welcome. All right. So for the more eagle-eyed, alphabet knowledgeable viewers at home, you will have noticed that that has narrowed it down for Isaac to Angela, Laurie, or Carly. Adam, of course, doesn't have an L in his name, nor does Isaac, but he does know he's not the imp anyway. It's possible that Sully was the imp from that as well, which makes it a good choice because it, it mm. gives the option to resurrect the whole was Sully the imp who killed himself narrative. Yeah. Um, um, the, the, the last thing Isaac's saying before we leave being, wait, am I poisoned, is maybe the most Isaac thing that could ever happen <laughs> in the world ever. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> I like that we left him in a, in a shallow pool of, of like uncertainty and fear. <laughs> That's how I like to leave people when I run this game. Um, yeah, so we roll. <laughs> yeah. Let's go see who Laurie picks. Hey, fella. What's up? Hey, mate. Good, thank you. Who are you going for I think I am going to go for Carly I want to see if I can basically bluff that I am now drunk in a way of confirming that Isaac or Adam is the demon okay gotcha all right thank you Laurie all right this is perfect um, what we should do now is we should make so the sweetheart is dead someone is now drunk now there are three obvious choices out of the four players alive because we don't want it to be Laurie right we can choose Isaac the amnesiac who's already gotten his ability now that's something that might come to fruition tomorrow night or, or he might die um we could choose Angela the Balloonist, who has now got one night of useless info and one night of useful info. But I don't think... I think at this point, that one night of useless info has made all of her info kind of, you know, suspect. So in my opinion, that leaves Adam the Dreamer, who is almost certainly going to choose Laurie right now. Uh, and we can tell him that Laurie is either the fortune teller or the widow. Okay. And that will probably convince Adam that Laurie is not the demon. Or Carly might say, hey, you're probably drunk now. Okay. There he is. Am I still alive? Am I still alive? I'm afraid, yes. Life is pain and you must suffer. Uh, you are you are the dreamer. It is time to dream. Who do you want to pick? Oh, whoever I dream of, Ben. You're just going to tell me they're either the character I think they are or the imp. I know your game. It's a formality oh. at this point. Uh, oh, I Laurie. can't do that now. Laurie. I'm, I'm going to well, dream pleased. that Laurie is either the fortune teller or the imp. Well, actually, Adam, ha, 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 ha. Laurie is either the fortune teller or the widow. Nah. Oh, so he's definitely not the demon. All right, so it's Isaac or Angela then. Lovely stuff. 
All right. See, you've got a year of little faith. Or I'm drunk and I sound incredibly stupid and I've been the architect of this entire town's destruction and maybe Sully was the widow the entire... I don't know. We'll oh, see. Well, you know, don't worry about it. It's not like we're recording it for 50,000 people to watch. You should be fine. <laughs> oh, go fuck yourself. And fuck me, I guess. <laughs> see All right. In, we'll see you in the morning. See you later. Bye. I think we should tell Angela Isaac because Adam is now looking to Angela and Isaac. Gotcha. So which... Which token are we putting down? So next uh, Isaac is the townsfolk. Angela's not drunk or poisoned. Oh, of course, uh, no, she's stable. So, gotcha. Yeah, Isaac, Isaac is the townsfolk. If Angela's still alive tomorrow night, we'll be showing her Brook, which I think will be game-winning info if if everyone can figure it out. Hi, Angela. Hello. So we are here to give you name number three. You've almost got all of your info now. Pretty exciting stuff. I'm not sure it's actually valuable because I think I might be poisoned, but yes, I do think we'll get almost all my information. Everybody thinks they're poisoned and probably are. But uh, yeah, here's your third human being. Tonight, it will be Isaac. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good luck. See you later. Good morning, everyone. You assemble in the town square to find frozen into a novelty ice cube the chilled and killed remains of Carly <laughs> <sighs> well one of that's not surprising one of you is now drunk so our powerful abilities that are left um that weren't already poisoned by our widow one of you is also messed up now any Chloe, let's have a chat oh, let's have a chat Carly. Uh, have a quick one uh, Sure. All right, Kylie. We've only gone and done it. I think uh, we've got this. So, are you sure? Are you sure you're not the drunk one? Hey, uh, oh, it doesn't matter if I'm drunk or not. Oh fuck! Yes, it does. Oh shit! It <laughs> what does. Do you mean it doesn't oh, why matter did you if die? You're drunk. I died. Oh no! <laughs> Don't act like it's my fault. I like. <laughs> wait, wait. Well, what did you? Oh wait, wait. No, no. It matters. <laughs> Okay, it matters what you say because we can go back and see what everyone else says. And if we don't have any, if we haven't, so here's the thing. If we don't have any indicators that someone else is drunk, then we can be wary of you. But if we do, then we can trust. Well, let me hear what you, if, if you weren't drunk, what would you think? No. I, all right. No, so What did you learn? What did you pick so and what did you learn? I, oh, God. So basically, um, I got, I said imp and I okay. got L, Fair. which was great news. Because I is think it? this clip, no, it is. Because if I'm not drunk, then it's got to be um, Brooke and Laurie. Because there's definitely an imp and a widow. If there's an imp, it means the other demons aren't there. And oh, it means the only we way could we have can the... have two outsiders is Yeah, because we could have the Angela. E and Brooke. Yeah, so we could have the we E and Brooke the... and the L and Laurie. I have information that is useful, but... It's okay. probably drunk information. Okay. Uh, I read Isaac and Adam last night, and I got a no. On the last two people was, left was, in... It was, it was Isaac, Isaac and, and Adam. So the last two people left in the game who aren't me and you. And I think, I think you're good. So for yes. me, that leads me to believe that I, am... I would be drunk because mm -hmm. I would have got a yes otherwise. Yes, that does seem to make sense. And so do you think Carly is in fact the sweetheart and then Isaac and or Adam are Yeah. Um one of the two? Of the of the two I'm leaning towards Adam just because he was the one who was gunning for John last round. I don't know whether I I I don't know whether John was evil. I'm I I I believe him now. Oh, don't you Sally? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh god what a, what uh... a fucking consolation prize <laughs> <laughs> you know what after all that maybe yeah, but... you think Sullivan you think <laughs> fuck me running okay John well, <laughs> genuinely uh, if anyone here is evil come and talk to me later and maybe we can figure something out because I'm not sure this town deserves to live don't obviously don't come to me <laughs> <now>. <laughs> but like 
I reckon I, I reckon I could you... probably be persuaded to fucking hang these dickheads out to dry. So you've been turned evil. So look. <laughs> yeah. No, oh god. I would lose. Well, I did eat an old lady. Yeah. Here's here's mm. what I know. Okay. I I know I'm the dreamer. I it's okay. very possible. So it's possible I could have been poisoned on day one. However. Mm-hmm. Sully, uh, Sully killing himself and Brooke also being dead and I just buy that that pocket I do it doesn't clear me but I f- for me that clears mm-hmm. Sully and Brooke uh, John mm-hmm. evidently you are not our demon <laughs> um, that yeah. is that, thanks Adam that's nailed thanks. on <laughs> which means fuck you um, <laughs> fuck you I have checked <laughs> I have checked Carly and I got okay. sweetheart or widow which means oh, definitely nice. not the demon I checked Laurie, oh, okay. and I got uh, Widow and Fortune Teller, which means, oh. which means, if Carly was killed tonight, mm-hmm. I think it's Laurie. You could also be our. We could also, yeah. You could be our drunk, and it could be Laurie. I think it's Laurie. Yeah, I'm with that as well. <sighs> that would align with both right. Isaac's info and everything else that's really happened. Um, I will say, uh, I think Isaac kind of figured out his ability, which would be a reason to make him drunk. Oh, cool. Um, Isaac, talk what? to us. Uh, yeah. But I, yeah. Um, actually, is it worth But everything points over? in the same direction. Yeah, yeah, go on. Go on. I'll give you my information. Why not? Okay. Um, yeah, what is So basically, I'm the amnesiac, and my ability is uh, pick a character from the script. Um, if they're in the game, uh, then I learn a letter out of that person's name. So, got it wrong on the first night, I picked the pit hag. Second night, I say E, I'm uh, sorry, I say Widow, and I get an E, um, which means either Brooke, Angela, Laurie, or Carly, as they have E's in their name. Uh, the night afterwards, I say Imp, and I get an L, which leaves Angela, Laurie, or Carly. Um, oh, I guess Sally, but he's me. dead. But yeah, exactly. I didn't forget yeah, you, Sally. Yeah. Don't worry, I <laughs> did not you. forget you. <laughs> No um, yeah. <laughs> and based on what I have, uh, I think that Carly and Sully um, are definitely outsiders. Because I know there's an imp, which means the only way to increase the outside account is the balloonist, which means I trust Angela. Um, mm-hmm. So because of that, I think Angela, Sully and Carly are all on the level. Um, John, I just have to fully trust now because I didn't get an E or an L. You, you so... could kill me again if you want, mate. Sorry we killed you, mate. <laughs> uh, I mean... <laughs> We maybe, could maybe kill me one more time just to be sure. I mean, we can. We'll go to final John, three. I, I reckon yeah. that we 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 flubbed up with you, but I think it was a mutual oh, yeah. thing. Should, <laughs> yeah, it was a mutual thing. Kill me one more time, just to be sure. I think um, we're we're in this this wonderful position that we are today because of your blood on our hands, John. You have aided the town, which is what you want mm-hmm. to do as a townsfolk. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, you eat a... people, John. You know, if you do the, it. Yeah. You didn't have any problem it's with that, that before, night. did you? Uh, all right. If there's a fangu, we do have an extra outsider. Don't forget that. Yeah. And Which could mean someone's drunk. Oh, there's a fangu. If I'm drunk. Occam's razor is that it's Laurie, right? Yeah, yeah. why don't we just kill Laurie? I think we oh, should nominate Laurie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, do wait, wait, okay. Why don't we wait, wait till tomorrow? Wait, can I, can, can I give my information, please? That I've just sure. spoken to Angela about. Yeah. Do you think it's, do, do you do, think do. it's me again, Laurie? Do you think it's no, me? No, I don't think it's you. No, <laughs> so Laurie, do, you, I th- do you think it's me? The dead John, I think, I think you were the control. I checked Adam and Isaac last night, and I got a no. Mm-hmm. You gotta know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Laurie knows it's Angela, so of course he's gonna say that. Or know that him and Angela are on the same. Oh, it's definitely not me. Wait. I don't think it's Angela. Angela's completely confirmed as good. John, Angela's the reason that Sully and I can both exist together. Unless Carly or, is the widow, of right. course, and Angela Unless, is lying. Yeah. No, Adam, if I was the widow, someone else would know that there's a widow in play. That doesn't make sense. That's a very good point. Yeah, that's very true. I agree. Yeah, that you're right. Sense. So that Does that mean that Sully could be the widow? Hop up, always thinking I'm evil, theory, Adam. Yeah. Uh, actually, sorry, I'd <laughs> just like to point out good. that... Me- <laughs> The, just for the for the benefit of everyone uh, being aware of all the mechanics, uh, a widow technically doesn't have to be shown to a good player if the widow chooses to poison themselves on night one. That's right, Carly. You you just step oh. right off, okay? Oh. That's right, Carly. Oh. I'm I'm there. I'm forty okay, chess. Okay, okay, okay. But then just I also kind of wouldn't see would the. Do. Then I also wouldn't see the grimoire. I'm also dead. So why are we debating me? Well. <laughs> Why? Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, there's no Guys, point. It I doesn't even go matter if Carly. Believe if... Angela. Believe Sully. Yeah. Oh. It is probably Lori. Like we're, we're there. Adam probably got poisoned yesterday. Like it all Wait, or I'd... drunk yesterday because of me. Yeah. It well... all makes sense. Stop. Yeah, yeah, or or I'm, or I'm, or I'm, I'm drunk, Carly. Or I'm drunk now, and I've got a zero on Adam and Isaac because it's one of them. So we have Isaac is an amnesiac. That has yep. really specific bluffs. Um, Adam could be uh, a demon that went to Sullivan, who knew he knew it was the lunatic, or Adam could yeah. be the widow. Um, and then Laurie, fortune teller, he could be either the widow or the demon. I, but I don't know which way it points. I trust my information. Adam is not the widow, unless I'm being drunk from the start of the game. <laughs> or you okay. could be the demon. I'm going to interject here. Is a solid I'm going to interject here to say that nominations are open. Should you wish to make them? So look, if we nominate someone today and it's wrong, we lose. Exactly. So, I, it's got to be Laurie though, right? I genuinely can't it tell between be... any of the three alive players, so I'm happy to leave it. I... Yeah. Hey, Demon, feel wait. free to kill me. I don't mind dying. Also, oh. Demon, if you want, if you want an uh, unofficial minion, come and talk to Luminelle, me. Luminel, salty just... boy. So <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a turncoat. Do God, thank yeah. goodness a cannibal. Don't do it right now, because it'll be really obvious. Thank goodness a cannibal isn't eating you, John. Otherwise, you'd be so salty. <laughs> I'm being. <laughs> 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 I want to give one other. <laughs> I, will, I will eat this whole town. That's proper tickled, Sully. <laughs> Look at him go. That's so good. <laughs> it really made me laugh. All right, final call. Yeah, good. I don't know if it's relevant, but because I think I've been poisoned since the beginning of the game. But um, just so that you guys, oh yeah, have your my info, Angela. Last night. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, that'd be nice. Um, I I got a read on Isaac. Um, now I just get people's names, and one of them will be the demon, one of them will be the minion, one of them should be an outsider, one of them should be a townsfolk. Mm. The reason I think that I'm poisoned and have been since the beginning is because my first read was Sully, and my second one was Carly, and both of them are claiming to be outsiders, uh, which would be, make sense, because my role does add an extra outsider, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get that read unless I was drunk, or not drunk, sorry, poisoned. Um, so I think I've been who the widow hit since yes. the beginning. Mm. So I do right. think my abil mm. my information is unreliable, so I don't think it's super relevant, but I just wanted to put it out there that mm -hmm. that's what I think has happened. So I think I'm the person who's been poisoned the entire time. I, I, uh, that I could, that I checks out to me. It's just yeah. a matter of, it's a matter yeah. of who my death hurt yesterday. Me. Yeah. yeah. Right, um, yeah, exactly. Which I know I'm, this doesn't super I, help. I just wanted uh, to get it out there in case. Bring my the day to a close it's then. Adam that got fucked with, but. Okay, Gosh. the day is over. There have been no executions today. Everybody uh -huh. goes to sleep. Whew, this is a this is a very intense game, isn't it? That was an odd day. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Everything about this game's been a little unusual, I think. I think it's the the smaller numbers. It's allowing for like once you go particularly once you get to about 10, not everyone is going to get to speak to everyone, right? There's inevitably going to be little factions that break away. When you've got eight like this, everyone's kind of up in each other's grill, and you end up having much more of like a group discussion dynamic. And especially with everyone just outing their roles on day one, it's created almost a kind of like a parliament rather than, you know, a series of little, little factions. Yeah. That might be... That might be the strangest day I've ever seen. In this game. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty odd. Um, I think as well, most people are not entirely sure who the demon is at this point. Uh, I think Isaac's got the most good info. Uh, and if I was Laurie, I would kill Isaac. But unfortunately for Laurie, we've decided that Isaac wakes before the demon. So he'll get his info anyway. Hello, Isaac. Hello. Here you are with some more info. Who's it going to be yeah. tonight? Uh, oh, because I'm just so forgetful. I'm gonna say imp again oh okay interesting you think you might be you might have been made drunk last night and this is a drunk test possibly yeah It'd be good that's, to know yeah that's that's pretty smart um that's pretty smart uh so i am going to tell you isaac uh that the imp in fact has an l in their name yep knew that was coming <laughs> <laughs> but i think i have all the information i'm gonna get all right cool uh Laurie, very important decision that Laurie makes now. In my opinion, he should leave Angela alive because at the moment, Angela is uh, potentially the demon based on Isaac's info, uh, potentially the demon from Adam's perspective, and is being backed up by the widow 
And if people figure out that Brooke's the widow, it's going to make Angela look very, very shady. All right, mate. You made it this far. Hello. Well, I didn't didn't think that was going to happen. So there we go. Now just to make people not trust Adam, which for some <laughs> reason they just are. Despite the fact that all the information lines up that Adam could be bullshitting, but people just believe him. So I've got some work to do tomorrow. But I would like to kill Angela because I think most people have said she is good. So Angela will die. All right, Angela it is. Thank you. In my opinion, that was the worst choice he could have made. But I've said that before and been wrong. So, yeah. you know, hello, Adam. Ooh, I'm suspicious enough to keep. <clears throat> yeah, you've made it till final day as a dreamer. That's, I'd say that's pretty rare in my experience. Would you say I'm the best clock tower player you've ever seen? No. <laughs> what? Wouldn't go that far. How much are you going to pay me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, how much is a uh, 10% of zero? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, well, Tom. I didn't. Um, I didn't catch your answer there at the beginning. Oh, it was a. It was a hard no. Oh, okay. Fair. All right. What <laughs> do you want? But that does technically leave you open to be the second, third, fourth, or you could still be the second best cocktail player I've ever seen. That's still yeah. possible. Let's go with it. Or the first worst, which is also an accolade, technically. <laughs> All right, all right, Confucius. Where you just come into my room at night and start speaking riddles at the end of my bed like yep. a spooky Saddler and Waldorf, just booting in your cottage door and insulting you before leaving. He may be a dreamer, but he's not exactly a dreamboat. <laughs> yeah, real Marley and Marley vibes. Okay. All right, Adam, who's it gonna be? Oh, who cares? <laughs> I'm drunk, aren't I? Angela, why not? You choose Angela and you learn balloonists or widow. Yeah, of course I fucking do. Eat shit, both of you. <laughs> get out of my get out of my pub. Good morning, everybody. You all assemble as per usual in the town square to find hollowed out by the burrowings of a hundred hungry rodents the yeah. remains of Angela. Oh, oh, this is Angela. I thought so. It's not a surprise. Night. Yeah, my oh. grandbaby. Everyone is dead. <laughs> my grandbaby. <laughs> <laughs> they keep dying. Oh. All right. Uh, so this is the worst possible thing that could have happened. Mm-hmm. So there's no more information. Okay, so information getting people. Hello. What'd you get? I checked Angela and I got balloonist and widow. But it doesn't no. matter because I'm drunk. <clears throat> I checked mm -hmm. Isaac and Angela, and I got a yes. Okay. Isaac? I checked, I said imp again, and I got an L. I think it's time to kill Laurie. I would concur. I want to kill I Laurie, but I just want to put it out there, right. just in case. Why do we trust Adam? Can I put forward um, an argument, please? I trust Adam because of the Sully bit. Adam I'm sorry, so you're... Well, wait, we're, we're he saying that Adam... He, first thing Adam would know is that Sully's the lunatic. I agree with that. Yeah, That's the first a, thing he would know. And a demon would want him to string along. The fact that he told him he could be the lunatic is also a very big deal right away. But, oh, but the risk but the risk shot. sitting Thank there... Thank you, Carly. The risk sit, no, so you're saying that on the first night, Adam was the dreamer. A one in seven shot picked Sully, who was the lunatic. And then, and then the first thing is just him for him he was the lunatic? Yeah, okay, yeah, but in a... In I, a I think <laughs> As someone who has a literally been the minion to the evil team, I've been the I've been the minion to a lunatic before, and it's fucking hard to do online. Really hard to do online because everyone can just have yeah. a chat. So yeah, Adam would be running the risk that Sully's the minion that Sully was told he had would be an actual minion because otherwise Sully will find out day one. Well, like he did. <laughs> like he, yeah, like he did, but that's because Adam told him that's the easiest way to get someone on side. With with all things even, it's just that's my my gut instinct says to trust an amnesiac and the someone who told the lunatic day one. And I haven't felt a reason to trust you more than them. That that's oh. that's my guttural instinct. Isaac's information lines up as well. It lines Isaac, up with my information and, I, and Carly's death. Yeah, and Adam. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is it possible that the widow is still alive? Oh, Brooke, stop. Please. Brooke, Brooke, you're the widow. Sorry, Brooke. Please. Yeah. Please. I am the grandmother! Yes. 
please. You saw the grimoire and knew to p- tell Angela that. Yeah, <laughs> you did see the grimoire and yeah. didn't pick Rand. I, I am a little convinced of that myself, actually. Don't you say that about right me right and my grandbaby! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Granny, your, your voice has gotten so, like, deep and Brooke. evil. It's the death in being inside John's bowels! That's what happens with digestion! You uh, are Team Red in every sense of the word. Let's get it. Wait, how do we know Brooke's the, 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 the widow? It's it's just speculation. I'm not the it's, widow. It's not I'm a grandmother. It's elimination. Why, why do you think Brooke's the widow? Isaac's information points to the fact that the widow has an E in their name. Um, I think, I think regardless of whether I, I do an believe e. John was the cannibal at this point, but I think that at that point John would have just been poisoned and would have been told the truth because we all outed ourselves. Um, and yeah. it just makes sense based on the. Uh, Everyone has an E in their name. Really, you're a really fun okay, grandma, but I, I also think you're not. So. <laughs> team Red. Team Red. Let's get him. Everyone has an E in their name. Oh, gee. Angela has an I E in their name. I have an e. Adam, you Hi. do it. Uh, I nominate Laurie. I, I want to okay. let the streak continue. <laughs> Adam nominates Laurie. Okay, Adam, you've kind of explained this, but do you want to summarize again? <laughs> no, he's a bad boy. Look at his eyes. Look at him looking to the okay. camera. Bad boy. <laughs> Laurie, your defense, please. Yeah, I'll offer a counter defense by offering a, a counter proposal that, yeah, I'm one of the only characters who's been actually getting information all game. My information lines up. I read that uh, Sully and John have got a yes. I read then John and Carly, I got a yes. I think John was probably the control. I then read Adam Adam and Isaac, I got a no after Carly had died. So I think I'm drunk. I then read Isaac and Angela and I got a yes, which if I'm drunk means that Adam is the demon. The first thing that Adam did was he went for Sully, got him to kill himself as the bloody lunatic, uh, which is a classic Adam Blompier, trust me, I'm good tactic. Oh Uh, He then pushed for John to die. People tried to like, people tried to fucking kill me on day one, and I was like, yeah, fine. I, I didn't. Said I don't. Yeah, you tried to kill me on day one, which I think is also why you were my control, because we keep doing that to each other. Uh, and then yeah, Adam was also the one who pushed for everyone to reveal who they were, so that he didn't have to dream anymore. Because no, no, I I did that. I pushed pretty hard for that. Mm. Oh shit! I would love to kill Adam. Yeah. I would love to kill Adam. Isaac, because if he's not evil, me, pal. he's going to be so smug. Isaac, it's fucking Adam. It's I'm not sorry. Me. It's I'm, Laurie. Can you not once hear it in his voice? I'm providing information. I'm providing information, and once again, oh. you don't fucking Laurie. believe me. <laughs> Laurie, you, yes, you mate. can buy me if you want. I know that you're evil, but if you want, I'll vote. Your okay. Way. All right. Okay. What? Right. <laughs> the vote is happening. It's clearly Laurie. Right. Come on, gang. Three living players. Not me. I don't. Two votes required. Here we go. Please, ah, Isaac. I don't know. Come on, Sally. We I need think this, it's, pal. It's clearly Lori. Either, Brooke isn't I voting think... for this for a reason. Like this is this no, is it. I, I don't know. Okay, oh, no, now you're just trying to. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Six oh, votes. Oh no, it's Adam. It's gotta be Adam. Well, it could. It, it, it's not me. Cannot be beaten. It cannot be beaten. <laughs> it's over, everybody. Oh, no. It's over. The game is finishing. Oh. Laurie is executed and dies. No, 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 no. And my congratulations go to the good team. Oh, Laurie, yes! I'm so sorry. Yes. 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 Oh, God. Do you know How what? Do you know what, Laurie? <laughs> I, I really thought you'd, you'd you'd got them then for a moment. Hands were going up yeah, and down all over the place. Really like, uh, you, do you know what, right? You Going into that final day, you were massively the outsider. And the fact that you made people falter and, and yeah. almost like convinced them, that's a real test. Like, seriously, I'm not just saying this. That's a real testament. <laughs> Isaac, you little wavering like. bastard. No, I could no, feel you, you know breaking. <laughs> do you know why I broke here? Because I did this to Laurie last time. I should have backed him and I didn't. <laughs> And it happened again, and I was like, fuck, I put Laurie in a hole. Thanks for trusting me, Isaac. The, like, oh, you're this welcome. Game in general. I trusted you throughout the whole game. That was awesome. Yeah, that was totally awesome. Yeah. 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 A, a bad habit that you've learned there, Isaac. I'm sure that I'll never I, I almost didn't else. vote for you out of uh, out of pure spite, Laurie. I almost wanted to help the village burn, but my uh, I had to get you in the end, I'm afraid. Sorry. Okay, so we had John the Cannibal. John was always the cannibal. Uh, John. Yeah, do you hear that, Adam? That's what do I you hear said. That? I've been saying that from the beginning, mate. Do you not hear me? Oh, God, kiss my grits. Absolutely kiss every single one of my grits. <laughs> Let the record show. So, John is the you cannibal. Know what, John? Um, only, I believe you. Only oh, eight thanks, one, Sally. Only ate one character uh, when you executed Brooke on day one. 
Brooke was, of course, the widow. Uh, oh, but at that point, yeah. Uh, I knew you tasted like <laughs> shit. <laughs> you really got me. Evil, evil were already yeah. on the black back foot by that point, so I decided to back Brooke to some degree and uh, give John legit info by telling him that Adam mm. was, in fact, his grandchild and that Adam was the dreamer. Sadly, uh, John didn't catch that bit of info or perhaps forgot. Uh, we did oh, have God. a consult on day one. I did remind him, but it seems like that was all too late. Uh, because yeah. you executed him for it. We uh, had we, Adam, who was the no dreamer, mistakes. who on night one selected Sully in what is probably one of the most important choices of the game because it very quickly, it turned the lunatic from what could have been a hugely damaging character into someone who is actually a source of useful information because by leaning on Sully as the lunatic, Sully then decided to kill himself in the night uh, and, and it, because the game didn't end, and because the minion that I showed to him as the lunatic was Brooke, who is now dead, he knew for a fact he was the lunatic. That's two people st stricken off the list already. Uh, we had Angela the Balloonist, who on night one was poisoned by the widow. Good so poison. I showed Angela Sully and decided that Sully, for me, was going to be the demon uh, that I was showing the balloonist because the balloonist was getting poison info. Of course, you then killed the widow, thus removing the poisoning from Angela. So we then showed Angela Carly, oh. the sweetheart, oh. as the actual outsider, and okay. Isaac, the oh. amnesiac, as the townsfolk. If that game would have somehow gone on for another night, I would have been obliged to show Angela Brooke as the as the minion, uh, but that didn't happen, of course. Uh, we had Isaac the Amnesiac, who on day two guessed his ability. That ability was, each night, wake and choose a character. If that character is in play, you learn a letter from that player's name. So on night one, he chose Pit Hag, and we put him straight back to sleep. Night two, we had Widow, and I gave him an E. Night three, he selected Imp, and I gave him an L, which obviously implied Carly, Laurie, or Angela, although Carly died that night. And then uh, last night, again, he selected L as a kind of drunk litmus test. Sorry, he selected Imp again as a, as a drunk test and gave him L again. Although I did consider giving him an A because that would have been, you know, probably less useful. Uh, but I didn't. Uh, and finally, we had Adam the Dreamer who got legit info on Sully and, and then got legit info on Carly as Sweetheart or Widow and then became poisoned. So I lied to him for the rest of the game. Uh, <laughs> but I think you f he figured it out. You figured it out, didn't you, Adam? I did. You smart young man, you. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> wow. Dripping. Dripping with smart sincerity. Smart little boy. Ooh, the smart heat in little here. <laughs> oh. You tenacious little urchin, you. Thinking of it. Father Benjamin, please. <laughs> yeah, you piece of shit working out my <laughs> eyes. Yeah, you fucking nerd. I feel so it's sorry for your editor, man. Tweet. This video is not getting monetized. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh. So I was the ca was I the cannibal Ben? Did you say? Oh, man. In the you were the cannibal. Yes. Oh, I should have I should have mentioned yeah, cannibal, as well. Right. Uh, Laurie, the Why didn't you fucking tell someone? <laughs> his bluffs were grandmother, fortune teller, and recluse. Can we can we hear from Laurie, please? Go on, Laurie. Oh, I almost got away with it. Uh, uh, the, the thing, the, the, my downfall there was that I didn't hear what Isaac when Isaac revealed his power. I didn't hear that because I wasn't in the room and I asked for it to be said again and everyone talked over me and I was like, fuck, I don't know what he does. So then I went to Angela because everyone thought and people all said, oh, Angela seems legit. So I killed Angela being like, there's three people thingy. Uh, and so that was it. That one bit of mm. missed information. And if I killed I, Isaac, I think I would have had I, a I, I, yeah, I, I could have been no, convinced I, about I Angela. I think Angela was the right yeah, kill. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Because yeah, not, not, only was Angela, um, not only was Angela in Isaac's potential imp info, but also uh, you believed by the end that Brooke was the widow and Brooke was backing Angela. So I think that probably would have been like a lot mm. more doable. But to be fair, you can't yep. know what you don't know, right? And at the end of the day, you made a choice yep. that was yeah. totally sensible at the time and then like went down swinging. So fair play. Mm. It was a great you final did... argument, Laurie. Yeah, it was. It was. Really was. I, really I, really I, was. I was worried. For... a while working on that. I was worried, <laughs> man. That's all for this episode of No Rules Bard Plays Blood on the Clock Tower. Get on boot. Get, get on, on butt. Boot. Get on boot. Get on that butt. Get on 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 butt.